Yo. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. How you all doing this lovely day? Oh, static. Stat. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it's my phone. I think that was my phone. My phone doing weird things. How you going, guys? So you mean any rain around Blackwall last night? Yeah. We did a little bit of shenanigans, but we didn't do anything illegal. Kids never say what. <laughs> what a fucking day yesterday, guys. Holy shit. I had like... I thought more about it after I logged out and I, like I wound down. I thought about the entire fucking arc. And I got to say, guys, we had a one-month-old conflict with this group. And it ended in me getting shot, Missy, Rennie, and then Matt got shot. Um, and then for an entire month, it was just mind games. It was us, um, trying to fracture their group. No fucking violence. And then it ends in one fucking gunfight, man. And it was sick. I don't know what, I don't know if LJ's dead or alive, guys. I've got no idea. No idea. Um, but I think we won the war. I don't know. Man. It's, it's up to interpretation because if you want to, if you want to do like, if you want to do, like, damage done. Damage done, they they had us beat. They they injured more of us in the entire fucking war. But the goal was to dismantle that group. And I don't think that group's going to be the same, man. And I'll tell you why. Eli not shooting me and shooting Speedy after we just shot down his leader says a lot. That group is fractured, man. I think I and I got to give a massive props to Graham who went along with with our with our uh, mind games. It was such a giving man. That whole thing was just so ah so good. And here's the kicker. Here's the here's the here's the special thing I thought about yesterday. And Dax just touched on it. Husky inadvertently caused that shootout. 
Wallaby was not going to shoot his former friend. He was not going to do it. His original plan was to let LJ grow old and regretful and then die, right? Just in regret and alone. Husky gave LJ the ammunition that he knew would, that would push Wallaby over the edge to violence. And the fact that Wallaby shot LJ is fucking huge. Because you know how forgiving Wallaby is. So that was Husky, man. He inadvertently caused that. Is Wallaby wanted? Don't know. I wasn't last night, but uh, I'm not going to be naive and don't think they're not going to come for me at some point. Uh, they, they... Oh, fuck me. That's death. Um, they're, they're probably going to come for us at some point today. I can't imagine us getting away with it. I mean, they do have the, the evidence system now, so my gun casings would be on the ground. That one, that event will change Wallaby though. Wallaby shooting LJ is is a big deal. I didn't mean to knock him off the horse. Okay, let me just be clear with that. That was a complete accident. I don't know why. I ran up next to him and the prompt came up to fucking press space, and I pressed space. I didn't mean to jump on his horse. Uh, that's a whole other story. Evidence system? Yeah, there's an evidence system. Huss is going to use you shooting LJ as fake proof you killed Joey. I don't know what he's going to do with it, but my god, man, this guy's like five moves ahead. I'm good to go today, man. Okay, let me just get this shit sorted. Yeah, so shout out to everyone in LJ's group. Shout out to Graham, obviously. Really cool conflict. I enjoyed it very much. Very much. I have no idea if he's dead or alive, guys. I couldn't tell you. I would, I would usually say that him ending stream is a sign that he's going to live, but he did that with Clayton, so I don't know. It's, uh, it's up in the air. It probably doesn't help that one of the people that were trying to help revive him, I knocked out. That probably didn't help his fucking chances. I don't know. We're dealing with Red Water, Water Company today? I mean, if they want to deal with this shit... It's fucking two thousand dollars, man. They can't be. They can't be that desperate for money, right? I guess it's a lot of money. Maybe my perspective is a little bit warped because I got so much of it. We got. We got so much money. It's fucking flying about our. Ear. That's that Charlie motherfucker. It's pouring out of our earlobes. Well, you know, Rennie should be around, man. Then she'd be able to be there. It was Gavin's money. Well, Gavin didn't seem like he gave a shit about getting the money. He didn't mention it at the lighthouse that he wanted $2,000. So I guess he's, he's giving it to them. I don't fucking know. We'll probably just give him the, we'll probably just give him the two grand, man. Honestly, we'll probably just give him the two grand just to, you know, fuck off. Get, get out of here. Uh, we don't need to deal with their bullshit. What's two grand? I did watch the Limpany video, yes. I'll pay you $2,000 to fuck off. It's always Bolton, man. You never showed us the destroyed town last stream. That's right. exactly right, man. I purposely did that just to fuck with you. Did it work? Um...
I didn't check if I had telegrams or not. I don't know if it came up. It might have. Oops. Yeah, yeah, I do have a telegram. Um, is Wolby still homosexual? He's not. He's straight. What are you fucking talking about? So fucking random. We gotta talk to Adelaide as well because she done fucked up. I don't know what she was trying to do. I know what she was trying to do, but it was such a weird thing to do it. Such a weird way to do it, man. Sending Lord to our hideout with all of us there, not knowing who's wanted. Charlie, I want to fucking... Mm. How does Wallaby feel that Eli not shooting him? Well... See, Wallaby... See, I regret... Yes, I, I regret shooting at the others. It was just heat of the moment. You know how, like, you just get that adrenaline kick? Because realistically, Wallaby wouldn't have shot at them. And then by the time I realized, oh shit, I'm shooting at them. Don't shoot at them. My PvP was off. But in terms of Eli not shooting us, I think that's a... That says a lot, man. Like, that, that, that says a lot. Like, he, It makes me feel like Eli is probably, if I have to guess, hitting Blackwater. Why are you going to fucking Blackwater, man? I was just fucking there, man. See you there. Oh, for God's sakes. I mean, I'll tell him back to him. I'm in fucking Valentine and... If he wants to meet up, just let me know where. I'm going to head towards Rhodes. Heading to Rhodes. <laughs> Motherfucker went to Blackwater. Um, I think... Okay. If I have to theorize what's going to happen with Eli, I think him doing that... I think him doing that tells me he's not 100% with, with... He's not with LJ anymore. I mean, we've ju we just shot LJ and his reaction is not to kill us. Uh, Eli from a month ago would not have done that. I think Eli... If I had to guess, we'll probably take over the group. Whether whether LJ, if LJ dies, he takes over the group. If Eli, if if LJ lives, Eli, I think takes some of the group and leaves. Because I think Eli will recognize that LJ in that situation yesterday was at some shape or form trying to get himself killed, and he was willing to let everyone else die with him. And I think Eli will recognize that. In fact, I think he did recognize it. And I think that's gonna come into a that's gonna come into play big time once LJ wakes up or if he doesn't wake up. Either way. I think Eli is leadership. He will be leader. The aftermath of the war will be wild. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be great. I'm like, I'm, I'm excited for their side of the story, man, because they got so much story to tell. That one event, that one, that one shootout is gonna give them so much to talk about. I envy it. Just waiting to see who comes out of it. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone will come out of it. I believe. Um. I don't know. LJ's a questionable one. But I think what Graham's probably going to do, he'll probably just bench LJ for a while because I know he's playing a lot of lore. So I'm going to guess he's probably going to bench him for an extended period. It'll probably be the play. I think if he was dead, we'll hear. if he's dead, we'll hear about it today, I think. We'll hear about it today. We'll see what happens.
I hope he lives because he's kind of in a position now where they might actually... This, this, I'm, I'm not going to say they're going to make up. I don't think they'll ever make up. But I'd like to think that LJ will gain a perspective of being a leader and that his actions have consequences to his, his people that follow him. And that it was never that it was never easy for Wallaby, and L LJ was very critical of things that Wallaby wanted to do and shit. And I hope, like, I'm hoping that maybe they can bond over that, and maybe at least come to like a conclusion of like we don't like each other, but you know, we're not going to be at each other's throats, sort of thing. I don't know. I I'm 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 curious. To I'm curious to see what happens. Because he wanted to be leader. He wanted to lead. He didn't want to be a follower anymore. And he got a taste of being a leader. And maybe it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be in his head. You know what I mean? But it's not easy. It's not easy being the one calling the shots. It's not easy being the one that when you make a decision, if it fucking goes wrong, it all comes down on you. You know what I mean? He shot Wallaby five times. Is Wallaby a pushover? What does that mean? Can you elaborate on that? And I'll answer the question. It's not. It's not as simple as. Um, I mean, I'm. I'm going to assume. Uh, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for you to, to elaborate. Because I don't want to uh, assume what you're trying to say. The only thing I would change about this, like if I was a director, if I was a director of that scene, I would have LJ get shot and then everyone else pull their guns and have like a standoff and have like a really tense, like back and forth. And then like Eli could have been like, you know, we don't want any more bloodshed, blah, 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 blah. And we could have moved away from each other or it could have escalated from there. But it's, it's, that's impossible to do without planning shit, man. It really is. Because as soon as a gunshot happens, everyone's just like, pow, 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 pow. You know? So I, th I think, I think it's the best we're going to, that's the best scene we're going to get. That's why I said, in, in my opinion, I think it's over. Because we'll never have that intensity again. Everything that had to be said was pretty much said. And Graham showed a lot of emotion with LJ. He he showed fear. He showed guilt. All in his voice. And he's so giving for doing that. Wallaby brought up why he thinks he shot him. And LJ rejected it. But you could tell in his voice that he knows. It was so good, man. It was so fucking good. And I, we'll never top it. So, Charles, I'm around heading to Slaughterhouse. Cool. Pete, roger that. Edwin. All right, we're heading to Slaughterhouse. Okay, cool. Going to Slaughterhouse. There we go. Uh, sorry, I didn't know you shot him last night. I spoke too soon. Yeah, we shot him last night. <laughs> and no, Wolby's not, a, Wolby's not a walkover, man. It's just, I... I I just, I just want to avoid unnecessary shooting, man. It's hard. Oh, hello. How you feeling? Is he not talking? Hey. Hello there, Wallaby. <laughs> you all right? Yes. I'm just in a particularly... Silent and mysterious mood. That's right. Definitely didn't just have a frog in my throat or something. Anyway, no matter. I'm doing all right. 
Doc, rip that bullet out of my shoulder. <laughs> I'm doing just fine. Well, good. Good. We're gonna go you to wanna the... get hot? No, I don't want to get fucking high. No. Why? I need a clear fucking head. It God will give you forbid. the clarity you need. God forbid I ever get shot in the fucking head and either Eddie or or you or Charles takes over this fucking outfit because you will be completely fucked. Come on. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, agreed. <laughs> we meet him at the slaughterhouse. Agreed. Who? Eddie and Charles. Oh, okay. I saw that motherfucker in Valentine. Eddie and Charles are around. Yeah, why? I swear to God. I swear they don't, to they God. don't get they don't get back to you? Oh. No. Am I a loser? Oh. Yeah, uh, I'll meet you there, okay? What do you mean? <laughs> I said I'll meet Where you, you going? I'll meet you there. I'm gonna talk to Flood real quick. Uh Yeah, okay. You can join me if you want. I'm not really yeah, gonna say I all will. that much. Okay. I, will. All right. I don't wanna be with my non friends who don't get back to me on the telegram. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Out of the way, asshole! Fuck! You're in a mood, you know that? You are in a real fucking mood. Calm it down. I don't even know that got... Okay, I'll calm down. Calm it down. Calm down. Have a smoke. Jesus. Flood, how you doing? You don't need to tell me twice. Annie. Don't mind, don't mind Pete. He's in a little bit of a mood. Fuck okay. <laughs> All right, I can definitely don't, not don't smoke yet. Don't, he's, he's smoking now. He's going to be fine in a few minutes. Just let yeah, him. Okay, right. yeah, give sorry, him a few. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I realize I've been a bastard. He's been a bastard. All right, look, it's already taking effect. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, Mrs. Dan stares sleeping. She, yeah. She's fine through the night. Okay, good. Thank fucking God. It seems like we all got out of there okay. I don't know if LJ's dead or alive, though. But, um... He alive. He alive. You got... How do you get confirmation of that? I just spoke to Charlie. You spoke to... Uh, what about speaking? JoJo? I'll tell you in a bit. JoJo seemed... Last time I saw her, she was... Alive. She, she died. What? Oh my! I don't know if she's dead, dead, but she stopped breathing well, and her heart stopped. Don't stuff. fucking tell me that because no, he, she's alive. She's alive. Fuck off. If I'm your dead. heart stops, you die. You know who else's heart stopped? The, the LJ's. Yeah. Yeah, but she didn't get nearly as much attention. I as, saw her uh, breathing last time I saw. Her. Like she wasn't breathing, but then she started breathing. Why don't people just die don't, like these days? Don't spread fucking falsehoods about people dying you know how dangerous that is you spread the weather joe's dead die. next thing you fucking know you know she's got friends and they come over and try to fucking kill me i do you think i'd said any of, the, any of this to anyone it's first thing you fucking told me was jojo's dead and you don't even fucking know she's dead you're assuming stop assuming but last i saw she was dead she wasn't breathing and they said oh she's dead I'm like, wait, okay, wait. well, is get she my Pete, job's done. Is she done. dead? Is she dead, Pete? You seem to get a better handle on this. I didn't get any information about her. I feel like if 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 she had died, we would have heard about it. Well, Eli was walking up and down the street with his his uh, head in his hands and oh, just very slowly walking up and down the street. Fine. From what I gathered, LJ's uh is critical. <laughs> We gotta put him on a we gotta put him on a canoe and then push him out to an island. That's where he wants to be, apparently. What LJ? Yeah, remember he was oh my fucking god. Do you listen? We were on the fucking roof listening to the conversation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to go to a tropical fucking island by himself. That might be the best place for him. Away from anyone, causing no problems. Uh, well, he ain't causing no problems now. He's uh, got what he fucking deserved. It's a fucking mess. Yeah. Whole thing was a fucking mess. I was gonna, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna walk away. He wouldn't fucking leave, Flood. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know what all them told the law, but Eli was pretty eager to give me a sob story about him. You know, they they were. Uh, they were aggressed. 
Eli said that they were aggressed. Yeah, he, he was uncertain to it, so there wasn't any conviction into it, but... What does that mean? What is that? Means they were the victims. Are you fucking crazy? Pete, how many times did I tell LJ just to fucking leave? I even walked away. Yeah, but Pete, uh, but I mean, uh, yeah. Eli did say that he didn't hear what was happening. He got the impression about that, and then they were all talking to the law when I left. I made sure all the doctors were stable. All right. Well, you know, as long as we don't lose no one, that's what matters. Yeah, just be certain, because I don't know. They're they're pretty liberal with how they talk to the law. Yeah, all right. Um, Keep me updated on, on, on Missy. Make sure she needs anything, you let me know. We're going to be... Oh, oh there, there she is. is. Hey. Let any of them know. Come here. Hi. Hey, Missy. Morning. You able to move? Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. We went over. She's 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 a bit cranky because she can't move as quick. Okay. Well, you 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 were losing your speed anyway, sweetheart. What was this supposed to mean? You're getting old. I'm not old. You're older than me. Steve. I didn't say you, you are. Old. I said you're getting old. Okay, we're you're gonna. You're a geezer. Okay. All right, all right. Well, you know where to find us, Flood. If you need anything, oh no, we need to fucking talk. So, could you meet us over there in like ten or so? Uh, would it be? Perf could we speak here? Or I mean, you want to talk openly about illegal activities? I was gonna go back to the tree, but also people don't come up here at this hour. Yeah, well, I got people waiting over there. You know how impatient Eddie is? He's liable to start fucking shooting somebody. Thank God I'm not there. Fair point. Yeah, just, just come over there. Ten minutes. Fucking hell, Flo. Right. It's, it's okay. a one minute ride, for fuck's sake. Come on, Pigsy. Actually, you know what? I'll bring the horse over. Wait right there. You gonna hand feed her too? Gonna throw me off. Okay. What? <laughs> Never mind. Right, let's go. Where's my horse? Manny! <laughs> Jojo's not dead, man. I don't buy it. Uh, Quantum Noob, thank you for the four months. Bass Man, thank you for the gifted sub. 316 with another gifted sub. Mate, you've been on fire lately. Thank you so much. And now, Daddy, thank you for the tier one gifted sub as well. Are you all right? You are bouncing off the fucking walls. Yeah, what is wrong with you today? What do you mean? You've got I'm this gonna... underlining. And, like, you're just anxious. Like, you're, you're biting at the bed. What's I'm wrong? Not, am I? I? Are you think... sure that's not you? Are you projecting that onto me I'm, right now? No, I'm I need my gum back. I'm, pre I'm pretty chill. Okay, I've been I'm... smoking all day. I got angry a little bit when you told me that. My so-called friends were around and haven't, you know, telegrammed me back, you know, for days and days All right, and well, days. You're going to have to fucking just, just confront them about that, okay? I already have. You, well, I confronted Eddie yesterday. Charles is different story. Charles is all right. Did you speak to Charles, by the way? I, yeah, of course I speak to Charles. Did you spoke? Yeah, did you, yeah. You spoke to him after the whole incident. Y yes. Okay, good. Tell you what, his arm was looking kind of fucky for a while there. His arm? You don't want to know. Where's my mouser? Uh, Peaches hasn't. Oh my god, somebody, somebody else has a mouser? What the fuck? We got a mouser and an elephant rifle. Yeah, but I want my We're nah. going... Okay, okay, well, wait till Peaches is around. You know where she is. She's always creeping around the fucking shadows. She'll be out in no time. Stupid Stupid peaches. I'm gonna tell her that. Don't say that. <laughs> give my mouse a back. I saw her. I saw her get arrested last night. She was hanging out with me in Valentine with Eddie, and then I decided to walk to the sheriff's office just to listen in. But for some reason, she fucking followed me like a shadow, and they just picked her up and took her inside. I'm like, oh, bye, peaches. She better not have had my mouse on her when she got arrested. I don't think she's that. Oh. Well, uh, that's a good
good oh. man's a while at last and I'm being realistic here. <laughs> I love this outside table being used, man. I love that music. I know you do. You love them more than me. <laughs> what the fuck, Duke? Well, he just did not want to be hitched. He just did not want to be hitched. We're fine. We're fine. I mean, I'm fine. Pigs, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I jumped off before you ran. I hear a snake. Walk away from the wall. You hear a what? You hear a snake? A sn oh, a snake. snake. Terrible shirt, Charles. Change it. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? That's all right. Yeah, yeah, I was about to um, telegram me, but I figured you were heading here. Oh, you were about to telegram. <laughs> oh, I just woke up. Mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. what are you Wait, ready? why are you getting all pissy with me for? Oh, you he's so me. mad. He's so mad. Why? Tell him. Because I telegrammed you and you didn't answer me. No, no, no. I saw, the... I saw it. I figured you were heading here. Mm -hmm. Tell him. Okay? Tell him, Pete. Tell him. Tell him how you feel. You never answer my telegrams, Eddie. Charles is a different story, yeah, but me. you, you, you never answer my telegrams. Let me just put it into perspective for you, Pete. I ain't never gonna fucking telegram. What do you mean? And right there. And that's if I'm around or not. Any other thing, I don't need to be telegramming nobody. Okay, Pete. Well, how we gonna contact you? How we gonna meet up and do friendly activities? He's got friendly a point. Like the ones we were doing the other day, friendly activities. The, the I apologize a million times to you, Charles. A million times. His name's not Charles. You just fucked up his name, Pete. I mean, Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for fucking me over, <laughs> Sorry. Pete. <laughs> Sorry, I got confused. I've been smoking a lot of weed. That's your fault. That's your fault. You told me to smoke. You told me to. What? Anyway. Oh, Eddie, 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 Eddie. I told him to smoke the oak. Eddie, ope. I'm sorry for pushing you off the wagon in the I middle of a gunfight. I didn't realize that the gunfight was happening. Why do you keep it no You ain't like I give a fuck. Thank you just you. brought it up. You said after the other day. What do you mean after the other day? Yes, I can not care about a situation, but still factor it into many other discussions. Paul having a brain, Pete. Wait, so you're <laughs> saying you're gonna hold this over me forever and you're just gonna bring it up from time to no. time? You don't actually care about it, but you're just gonna no. bring it up. No, that's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just saying you smoke your tobacco, you smoke your wacky tobacco, whatever the fuck you want, but it ain't gonna be around me. Got it, you googly eyed, goggles wearing son of a bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. All right. All right. The least thing we got to worry about is fucking telegrams about what happened, huh? All you right. forget what happened? All right. You took. All right. You want to. Okay. We're going to lose some steam. Come on. To the garbage pit. It's on. Time to love some fucking steam, boys. Come on. Nice, fair, square up. You got a beat for me? Let's do it then. Let's do it then, Pete. All right, you got a problem? Fine. Fine. All right. We should then come to this. Between the garbage heaps, I'll count you down. You get all that anger out of you. You understand? Okay, now this is how it works in the garbage pit. You have 10 seconds to tell the other person how you feel about them, and then we fight, and then it gets left here. What happens and said at the garbage pit stays at the garbage pit. You understand? Did I have, did I have more than 10 seconds? Yeah, you should get it. Okay, you got 20 seconds. Okay. All right. Say we got to say Pete. Eddie, listen, man. I know I made mistakes. I know I made mistakes, but I feel like you hold them above my head more than any other motherfucker around here, goddamn. And you never answer my telegrams, and it makes me feel lonely. Lonely motherfucker. I bought you my friend. I bought you my friend. Time up. Eddie, your response. Okay, Pete, I am your friend, but I ain't gonna go changing on me. Okay? I ain't changing nobody. 
I ain't changing myself. I'm going to telegram whoever I want to telegram. Pete, just relax. All right. You're my friend. Time's up. Now, get your frustrations out in three, two, one, fight. I don't want to hit him. Ah, ah. What do you mean? Get him, uh, Pete. I feel, I feel much better at the fire. Get him, Pete. Get him, Pete. <laughs> Holy Jeez, shit, he's doing some fucking kung fu shit. What? Oh my god, I'm feeling the chi. <laughs> oh no, no, the, the chi's evaporating. I think it's just I can go hey. now. <laughs> oh, Pete. You're looking good there for a little bit. Kick me. God damn. You all right? Don't kick a man yeah. in the groin, Pete. All right. I'm sorry about your dick, Eddie. All right. That's it. All the frustration's <sighs> out. Now we're all friends again. Yeah. I feel much better. <laughs> oh. And worse at the same time. I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> yeah, you do. You did good, Pete. You you did good. We both know you would have won if you you know you didn't let him hit you a few times for free. We know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, you had him. I did. I took the peaceful route. You never take the peaceful route with Eddie, okay? He's a very violent man. Very violent. Just don't telegram him. He's a he's a he's a piece of shit. Yeah. I hardly telegram him. He's my best friend. <laughs> it's his fault. He telegrammed me like twice in one day, so I thought we friends now. <laughs> and then he wow. never telegrammed me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. You know, you know me oh fine. my god. <laughs> I need to smoke. Yeah, we had a little song for, for opium. You wanna hear it? Yeah. Come on, smoke that up. Come on, smoke that up. Come on, Pete, smoke that up. Come on, smoke that up. But I don't want to smoke the oak. Oh, you just but have I the other. smoke the weed. Yeah, you smoke the weed. Come on, smoke that weed. Smoke that weed. Come on, smoke that Come weed. Come on, smoke that weed. Come on, Pete, smoke that weed. Smoke that Come weed. Come on, smoke that weed. Hell yeah. Oh, thanks. Uh. He's okay. Ah, uh, where's Eddie? Totally fine. Oh, walked off. Of course. Which direction did he have a little fucking? Towards the slaughterhouse. Okay. He said, he said, I telegram you as much as I telegram the rest of you. And I said, so fuck all. And he said, well, what did you, did you expect more than that? And then I said, from a friend, maybe. And then he looked at me and then he walked away. He's not a telegram guy. We know this. I, mean, I think Flood's here. What was he doing? Oh, he was patting the dog. Alright. I got Flood here. We're going to talk about this fucking money thing. Make sure we're on the same page, yeah? Sounds good. Alright. Well, dude, that's it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of going to the fucking stables, Eddie. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> okay, I think, um... I think I'll let you tell him the details. You you know, you're the numbers guy. You run the numbers. Mm -hmm. Run the statistics and the analysis on how fucked he might be. 
Right. He has no idea how. Oh my god. Do we tell him how fucked he is? I, we... I think. I think. Yeah. Just be honest with him and tell him how fucked he is. But do it in a. Uh, do it in a respect, respectful way. Okay. I will. All right. Go. Oh fuck. All right. Looks like we're taking him inside. Come on. They tell him about a husk and all that. Yeah. Everyone inside, it's about to fucking rain. Come on. Before you get wet. It's about to rain. Come on inside. You're gonna get fucking drenched out here. Scared of a little water. Yes, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm shaking in my boots. We're going upstairs. Hi. You know, Charles. Yes. Why are you dressed up like that fucking mascot on that milk bottle? Because I got a different color for each outfit. This is the one that uh, right, right. I haven't really used yet. I don't look like a fucking milk bottle. I don't, I don't Have understand. you not seen the milk bottle? There's a guy on the milk bottle. No. He has that shirt on. No. He's like tipping his fucking hat. And he's like winking his eye with the fucking milk. No. Well, you dress exactly like him. You're going to get fucking stopped for like autographs mm -hmm. and stuff. I don't like the outfit. Let me get my fucking jacket on. All right. Uh, flood. We got some things to go over. Um, Eddie's been running the numbers. Um, he's been... Um, Analyzing and he's gonna he's gonna tell you what's what, okay? Alright. Wanna sit down? <laughs> no, I'm just grabbing an extra gun from in here because Peaches has my mouth all. Oh. She... Yeah, don't worry, it's in trusted hands, Eddie. Trust okay. Hey Flood, how's it going, man? You doing good? Hey. We uh you know we we run the numbers, look, looking at the logistics, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, when you start running numbers and then they start to get into the letters in the numbers, you know, they start complicating things. But anyway, I want to update you on the current situation at hand. You've been aware of Husky? Yep, been made aware of him. And you're aware that he is making advancements? Yep. These advancements are putting a number of people in very particular situations that are very bad. One of those people is you. Because of your association with us and the service that you, you provide us, You have a bit of a target on your back. Not out on the streets. Nothing like that. Just people are, are aware of your dealings. That particularly shouldn't have been. Money flood. Talking about the money. Now, I don't know who could make a move, but it scares us that a move could be made. Law, outlaws, it's husky, you know, making some sort of move. 
to try and take you down. To get our money. Take our money, seize our money. All if right. it's the law, they taking you down with us. They taking the money, probably all your money, and they taking your store. And we realize that puts you in a position where, you know, we can't outrightly move the money because moving that type of cash can raise some hairs. Placing that money somewhere else with another person, definitely gonna raise some hairs and there ain't nobody else there that could hold that type of money. And that's just the law. We're worried that they may have other plans in mind. Maybe someone might be a little bit more fortuitous. You understand what I'm saying? To get that money. Yeah, I understand. So you kind of caught up? I, I was aware of this the moment it happened, yep. So I think we're going to open up the floor to solutions. And we're hoping for a little bit of you know, help. any ideas? Well, your first option is going to be converted all the gems. Possible. We thought about this, but what would the exchange rate be these days? I mean, pretty fucking high. Oof. Way was charging me, but that's when he wanted to get me under his umbrella of businesses. He was charging me around uh, 30 to 50 percent on top of the gym price. So, pretty significant. Your other option's gonna be we'll uh, bury it out in the swamp, hide it somewhere. No. Third option, find someone else to carry it for a bit until suspicion of the law dies down. Hell, maybe even invite them to look at my bank account. Well, let's open up that. Let's be honest with Flood. I mean, okay, we, we, we talked about that situation. Do you think there's any way possible for you to withdraw $40,000 from your bank and the bank not raising a hair or people looking into you, and then on top of that, do you think someone could be able to deposit 40000 without the bank or law raising a hand? Moving money like that seems a lot more complicated than what we well, assume. You're Ed, assuming I have it all in one account. Oh. That makes sense. Do, do, do you want me to go about sharing how I do all this, or? I, I prefer keeping my own secret, you know? In case something slips again. I think that'd probably be wise. We, uh... I mean, let's, let's put it this way. If someone looks at my bank account right now, they ain't gonna see $40,000 in my bank account. They're gonna see Garrett's gunnery, uh... Well, not as much, definitely not as much money as that. Okay, okay. So you have uh, placed it in different accounts. Oh, yes. Hell, How even, much? even if someone hung me upside down by my feet and started taking a knife to me, ain't no way they're getting that money, even if I wanted it to give them, unless they have certain things. So there are safeties built into this. Not a fucking how, idiot. How much in each? Mm, depends. Could range from anywhere to 50 to a couple thousand. 50? Yeah, 50. What do you mean 50? 50,000? 50 dollars. 50 dollars. 50, to a thousand. You, how, how many accounts do you have? A considerable amount. Interesting. I should rephrase that. There are a considerable amount. 
What would happen if you... So, I could see a problem with withdrawing. All these accounts I would say problem nowhere, solved. just all closed. And it just makes it harder for you to figure dry. it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying we do it all at once. There's no way you'd be able to do it all at once, but start doing it slowly. What if he starts buying bananas? We're not buying fucking bananas with the money. Now, we heard that uh, there are specific people investing in bonds. I oh want to know, God, is this, no. in your professional opinion, your businessman, no. Flood, is this a farce? Yes. The increase in bonds, is that a farce? Yes. Is this, are you talking uh, about ways Baoshi bonds? Uh, let's just take that as an example. Like, people are buying bonds to invest for their future. Is this a farce? Is this people that Capital think bonds, that they yeah. are smarter than capitalism <laughs> or... In case Do you see that in the future or... a worthy investment? It could be if your guarantor is solid. But in the cross, and that takes on a whole different level when uh, your guarantor can get killed brutally or uh, just leave the cross and with all your money. What happens? What happens with these accounts if you die? Oh, they get passed on. To whom? Well, yeah, Ruby. Then I have someone out of state that it would go to. If 50 accounts or Ruby. whatever the fuck. It's transferred to someone that's in a will. Mm hmm. Now, you're assuming I got ownership in all these accounts, direct ownership. Flood, where's our money? <sighs> all right. Okay, so bananas, good example. Someone wants to set up a store, they don't have the money to set up that store. Has he An got our money? An entrepreneur comes in with, say, I don't know, $200 to invest in this new business. Contract is drawn up. That $200 goes into the business. There's a contract on the side where, and if I ever need that money back when that business is established, it comes back. You can just cash that in. Almost like bonds. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So if we wanted $40,000 cash right now, you can't give that to us? Wait, I couldn't take it all out right away. No. Nope. Yeah, Remember when we began this, you said you wouldn't be taking out mass amounts of money. No, I we also, we also didn't think we we're going to be in this situation. I mean, did it ever occur to you that someone having $40,000 in their bank would set off alarms with any other banking institution. Yeah, but you are the golden goose flood. You are very... You've been working here for years of business, relationships with everybody and anybody. If there was anybody with that type of money, it would be you. This is why we can't just uproot and move it to somebody else's bank. Well, up until now, all my business went pretty much unknown. So you can see the situation that we're all in. Yeah. I mean, the question is, what do you all want to do now? Because I can get that money. It'll take a bit, but I can get the money. Uh, like 10 grand? 11. Like three and a half? 75. Three and a half? 
Yeah, I guess I've been slacking. This might sound like a stupid idea, but... What if one of us goes clean for a bit just to hold it? That's what we've been talking about. Transferring $40,000 into someone's account is going to raise eyebrows. You got to remember, there might be three people in the entire crossing with that kind of cash. If sneaky fucking Pete walks into the bank and says, he's $40,000 put in my account, they're going to lock him up on the spot. And not only that, <laughs> you're going to have a, a good old fashioned run on the bank. The bank's going to be under investigation. The town's going to be under investigation because that type of money just doesn't come out of, out of nowhere. Even if it's a slow move? few bits here and there. Well, that's, what, that's what we ask what's well, concerning. Do we have, I don't know how much time we have. Exactly. I was well, about to, can we? Okay, well what about like two and a half grand every day? Just pretend like he's been, I don't know, moving oranges, he's been cutting wood, delivering milk, whatever he needed to do to get around to either live a clean laugh. And then he dies on a bank job. No, he would need to be clean. That's what. That's what. We, that's why the thing is clean for a little bit is. Squeaky. It, it regards to my voice, not not me being squeaky clean. <laughs> I don't know if I can go clean. Yeah. You know what? That's why Maybe floods beautiful because Maybe he's a business. I no squeak. I. No, you know Okay, what? everyone, raise your hand if you think Squicky P could... could stay clean with 40000 in his account. Raise hands. Uh, I don't know. Oh, shit, that's a... That's a... Sorry, oh, Pete. Yeah. I, I, okay. I mean, I'm open to the idea. Right? I think we all are. But it's not like another Golden Goose is going to pop out of nowhere. If we had another one, then we could say that, yeah, this person is respected well liked good relationship with the law a business that's been there for forever you know hmm. hey yeah i think we're skipping oh, over one big fucking fact here what flood is telling us is that the money is essentially safe yeah but i mean if they keep looking they will find it eventually always assume nothing is foolproof and that is how i've managed to get this far yeah, I think what the play is here. <clears throat> what is I have to get out of debt. No, no, you're not getting out of debt. I'm gonna work my way out of debt. No, you're not gonna work your way out of fucking. No, this is the this. What are you talking about? Cool, he said that. I'm, I'm gonna work my way out of debt. No. He's been doing well with bananas. I'm gonna work my way out of debt. How much in debt are you? You're my best lock picker. Thousand. What the fuck are you talking about? Work seven. Oh days. my god. You're just gonna get arrested. I'm gonna work and... my way out of debt. What? You don't do any fucking crimes? Yeah, I'll do clean stuff. I need your fucking lock picking. You got other people that can lock pick. Yeah, yeah. I reckon I can and, do that. And you got new people that were testing, right? You don't technically need me to be hands on. Plus, I'm injured anyway from the shooting. I work my way out of debt. It's gonna take a little bit of time, which will give us, I don't know, some and you never, time. And you're never doing crime ever out. again. It's it's something to to at least give us another option, Wallaby. I've, I know the option. I know what we're gonna do. What we know is, for a fact, is that Husky has told one person at least as a backup plan. We appease him, keep him smiling, we keep him thinking I'm going to leave with him. In the meantime, we track him down, see where he fucking goes, see who he meets, we find the fuck out who this friend is. We find who the friend is, we deal with them, and then we deal with Husky. No need to panic. I want to, I want to be on the same page. 
Maybe he wants us to fucking panic. Maybe he wants us to start moving things. I got no idea. We got to assume that's, that that's what he wants. We stay calm. His goal is to get under our fucking skin. Let's not let him do that. Well, I mean, in full disclosure, I was going to broach the converting into gems. I've kept bringing that up. I How know, many but... gems would 40,000 even buy? Couple satchels full of emeralds. That's what the fuck? 120 in emeralds. And who buys? Who? Wait, and if we wanted cash, who do we sell them to? Taipan? Or straight to the general store. Take a loss on it. Mm -hmm. We take how much of a loss would we take? Depending how much be in charge. To, I know the Irish sell them for cheaper than Taipan ever would. So you take a loss about 25 average on each uh, emerald. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's the value of a Mavzo? Mm, depends how much someone wants to pay for it. At this point, there's not too many of them. It is an option. Well, I mean, I guess there's a couple of options. We all got different options here that we're thinking about, but it's do we act now or hold ground? When you say X, what exactly do you mean? We set things in motion. You're still being vague. We move money. Yeah, but what I was saying is, that, like, the way the Flood's done this is, the money is, like he said, yeah, it's not infallible, but it's pretty fucking safe. Yeah, it might take a bit of time to gather it, but do we really need to gather it? We ain't planning on making a big purchase yeah we said tight we said tight oh no <clears throat> peaches how you doing oh peaches i need my miles are back what oh you can, you can. It's, it, come with me. Okay. Sorry, it took me a second to figure out what you were saying. It took like 30 seconds actually for it to get into my brain. Okay, okay. Hey, Flood, do you know anything about uh, yeah. Red Water Company? Uh, yeah, no, they've uh, branched there from Gavin Summers now. It's uh, Coho, Morgan, Hawk. And they were by Morgan. last night. Hey, Morgan's old friend of mine. We used to be in the business together all right because they're coming around here wanting two thousand dollars from me for what uh back during a bank job lj was caught and um couldn't find the rest of my gang and i bumped into gavin summers and the red war cunt what uh, red water cunt company sorry i didn't mean to say that um, and I offered them $2,000 to help me get LJ out of prison, which they did. Thing is, I made the deal with, uh, Gavin Summers, uh, but they're the ones cashing in. Hmm. I'm thinking we just pay it and just, just to get them the fuck away, honestly. I can't be fucked dealing with them. Yeah, I mean, at that point, that's nothing to you. No. I mean, you want it? I mean, I got a thousand on me right now. You're walking around with a thousand dollars on you? Yep. Does anyone here have any objections with paying off these fuckers? Get rid of them? Because as it stands, it, I will say money. they're looking for work really bad, so... They're probably pretty desperate for that money. Ah, uh, well. 
Just hold on to it for now. I'll wait until I meet with him and I'll uh, come get the money. All right. And Pete, it is your money too. It's all our money. Is my rifle modded? No. All right. <laughs> I know what that was, but uh, yeah. Uh, is that everything then? Yeah, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Just don't want you to uh, be left in the dark on anything. We sit on things. If you run into Husky, just nod and smile, okay? Yeah, okay. Right. So I haven't question. even met Finn. Hmm? How much would this go for? Ew, the way it's looking, nothing. It's very dirty. <laughs> Do you have any gun oil? Uh, I don't actually. I, I do. Gave Hand the it rest. to me. Yeah, yeah, I'll clean it. No, yeah, I'm I haven't had the chance it. to get some. Okay, you clean it. Here's your fucking gun oil. I mean, I would... Personally, I would there. buy it for around... Where? Where'd that go? I don't know. Why'd you swallow it? Why didn't you have it? went right through that big crack in the floor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it went through the crack. It might be downstairs. Okay, well, I can't run. All right, I'll oh, run. Oh, God! Oh, God! Money! Fuck, it's not money. It's gun oil. Calm down. Oh, it's gun oil. I thought you dropped the fucking Mauser. No. <laughs> Money! <laughs> I think it's down here. I think it fucking vanished. <laughs> nah, it's fucking gone, dude. What you get for being rude? I wasn't being rude. I was just dumping the fucking... That's how I drop shit, man. I always pass shit over that way. I'm not trying to be rude. It's just how I do things, man. I dropped the gun all, and this is what I get, man. Do you think a Springfield's better than Winchester? Winchester? There's no Winchester in the game. Is the Winchester just the... Lancaster? I haven't really used the Springfield. But isn't it just a... Isn't it just a one-shot? It only takes one bullet at a time. If so, no, it's not better. Red end does look different, man. They changed the interface. Yeah, I hope they fix the uh, Springfield audio glitch. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah, I think we'll just pay pay the Red Water Company. Just, you know, we don't really want to deal with that. We just got out of this war. I really don't need... We really don't need conflict with this other group that we have no actual real beef with. It's just money. It's not worth... What will Gavin say? I don't think Gav I think Gavin will be fine. I don't think he'll care either way. I think Gavin wants me to go up against um Coho. That's right. That's kind of what I was feeling with the conversation with him. 
I felt like uh, he was trying to push Wob in the direction of shooting Koho. You're just giving money to the government. You're just burning it at that point. What's what? What, what are we talking about? Burning money. Why? Because she wants to get out of debt. We're talking about a, a future. I guess. I guess this is a future discussion. Well, I want to know. You're not selling that fucking Mauser, right? That was no, a gift. I mean, yeah, and if I can keep it, that would be the ideal. I know. I'm just curious what it would go for. We already know what it'd go it's, for. Probably around 10, it's 12. It's really dirty. And... Yeah, I think my person would probably play 10. At least. Yeah. Now, 10, 10 to 12 is probably the range you're looking at. I changed cell on it, so... It's so pretty. Yeah, I know it is. Oh, I got the gun oil! I got the lube! <gasps> oh, gimme, give gimme! Give <laughs> is there anything further I can add to this conversation? Or... Swallow it! <laughs> oh, it almost went through the... There it it almost went through again. <laughs> Damn it, Wally! Are you so mean to pick shit up from the ground? It, it was incredibly close to going through the That's floor again. That's what I do. I, I I live life to its fullest. I'm not your servant. I, okay, that's quite the leap. You can hand it to me. Uh, is, is my part in this conversation done or? Ah. Uh, yeah, I think we're up. I think we're up to date. Yeah. All right. All right, thanks again, Flo. We're definitely not doing yep. anything illegal today, okay? So don't worry. <clears throat> Look how pretty it is. Oh, well, why would you... Okay, never mind. Oh. Oh, God. What the fuck was that sound? I just need to... I just want to shoot it. Oh. It sounds like you want to do more than shoot it. You're going to find fucking I... sit on it or something. You know what? <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed. It? I would not be opposed. <laughs> And this is why I don't telegram you, Pete. You talk about sitting on my yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> right, man. I'm gonna leave before this gets even weirder. All right, bye, Flood. What's your telegram, fella? You're gonna have to reward him and shoot him. Okay, I can do that. Have you don't shot one before? It's not going anywhere near my ass. I promise you. Has, has David ever shot one? I, I I know Pete has, but has David ever yeah, shot this? What the fuck? Alright, if, you, if you're gonna shoot her, come downstairs. Downstairs. He's Just never don't, shot one? Don't oh, shoot okay, sick. Out. This would be cool then. They're pinatas. Say you fake, get candy. <laughs> They're the piggy pinatas. All right, you can shoot those posters. Them posters? Them All posters. Right. Oh, Everyone God, stand behind him, though. How are you doing? Everyone behind him. I'm wounded. What? I know. I... Nothing. I got wheel bark. You want some wheel bark? Okay. A lot of sparks coming off. I heard this motherfucker was automatic. No, no, no. Re reload it. Watch how Didn't fast you can reload it. it. This is that's that's where it, it benefits. Ah. I don't got none of them bitch pills though. Oh like wow! Yeah. Holy shit! So I have to suck on it. Oh, it's sexy. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good gun. Pretty sick. It's a good gun. What makes it so good, though, seems like just a normal gun. It holds yeah, 10 I, bullets I, and it reloads in, bullets. like, a quarter of the time. So you're shooting thought, more I and you're shooting faster. I thought it was automatic, though, like a little mini okay. Maxim cannon. No, a Basically, little Maxim? You, yeah, that would be a little Yeah, you know, like... Res no, no, it's no, it's not an automatic. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh. Basically, it's like loading one bullet, but it's a clip. What? Like 10. Okay. You're not that far into the future, Pete. What? Okay, I'll take maybe it back. Maybe the future will have little dancing. maxims. We might have little maxims maybe in the Eddie, next 30 doing? years, maybe. Maybe oh. we can just carry around <laughs> cannons, like little oh, mini What's cannons, that? and put little cannonballs in them and shoot at each other. It'd be fun. Did you just say shooting cannonballs at each other and it's gonna be fun? 
That's gonna be yeah. fun. Sounds like oh, fun. thank you. That was a pleasure. Guys, I've been mean to ask you something. Why don't, um, whenever we're stagnant like this, we always get all frosted up. We never know what to do. How about we think about a little scheme we could maybe pull off today just to get some yeah, pocket well, change? Yeah, we gotta do that. We're not, we're not, we're not we can, stagnant. Uh, we're all talking a flood. No, I know. And then uh, we could think about. All right, relax. All right, I'm not attacking you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we think about future discussions. We got to think about our future. Uh huh. Peaches. Yes. Are you in or are you out? Well, I thought we already talked about this. We could do a bank robbery. Oh, bank robbery. Wow, you Me. turned really quickly. Then. Where, when yeah. did we? I haven't done. Do I haven't ours? done one we, in a well, couple weeks. I haven't yeah, either. We, I've been me, itching. you, and Charles, we can't mm -hmm. do that. But him and her, they can yeah, do that. Yeah, bank, two-person bank job, just you and me, Wallaby. Let's go. I changed I'll my do mind. Safes. I changed my mind. No, no, no. no. Well, I think this would be great. No, no. Yeah, I would love to see this. Yeah, yeah. You want to see me go to jail? This. Is that what you want, Charles? <laughs> what? No. We'll not go to jail, no. okay? It'll be good. We'll, I, we'll come up I with some, some yeah. plan. It'll be great. There's only one thing more embarrassing than me getting caught on a fucking bank robbery, and that's getting caught on a bank robbery just me and Peaches. <laughs> Why is that embarrassing? Because I usually right. do bring plans the, where I actually the... might get away. Okay, but well... what if you did get away? I feel like that just, you know, you're playing on easy mode. You gotta play on hard mode like me. What? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta play hard mode on you. <laughs> You're yeah, so please. lucky, Missy, and around. Yeah, say it in a less sexual way, please. Pixie hasn't done a bank robbery either, but she might be a bit too <gasps> ill. Nah, she can't run. She can't run. So that's a no-no. That's true. Yeah. Oh no, I got, I got people. I got people. Um, I don't want who... your people. Why don't you want my people? They're good fucking people. Who? Name them. Okay. Well, actually, now that I say it, oh, it's Scout and Jesse. We could do Eli Wait, too, and then Scout they'll from the Wait, bathhouse. What? The yeah, ones that we shot yesterday. Well, she didn't Scout shoot, from the she shooter? Are you fucking she insane? Me up and I wanted to talk to you about that. No. She wanted to be clear that no. she was not okay. Do you know who else likes Scout? Hey. Husky Tarbox. Husky? That's a big fucking no. Yeah, they're friends. What? Yeah, they're friends. Okay. Yeah, well... ever since the uh, train robbery, he's been talking to her apparently. Okay. And wanted her to have a gun. Do you remember stop? that? He said if we could give her a gun that she wanted, but he's been working her for a while. What the fuck? Why am I just hearing about this now? She's a... Is she, she your friend, though? She, she? Yeah, she's she's family. She's Hagen. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she is. She knew my mother. Oh, yeah, she could never backstab you. She knew your mother. You yeah. ever heard of Judas? Never heard of Timothy. <laughs> well, Jimothy weren't... Ever heard of Edwin? Okay, you, you didn't have to do Eddie like that, all right? She was there for that, for fuck's sake. Did you have to bring that yeah, up? Yeah, what I'm saying is, things happen. You hate me, Missy. Just fucking be clear about it. <laughs> you never liked me from the start. I thought we got common ground, and you just, you know, you just burn <laughs> down bridges. All right, then, whatever. <laughs> I could do a bank robbery. I hope somebody offers you, like... 7,999 instead of eight grand for that miser. Don't say that, Edwin. I just did. You see how mean things can be? Oh, my God. <laughs> I wish Pete would have won the fist fight. Uh. Uh. All right, all right. Let's, can we, can we calm it down? Can we please? No, he's mean to me. I mean, you, you brought up the whole fucking thing you didn't have to I'm bring up. Shit. Yeah, I know, I know. I love you, he but you shouldn't have brought up Eddie. You shouldn't have brought up Eddie like because he. People forever. They do shit to backstab you, even if it's Eddie bad. didn't try to. Back... Yeah. We, we've been over this. You didn't have to bring okay. him up, okay? That was I mean, dirty. I feel like. I st okay. Especially after yesterday, you two had this nice little little moment over in Rhodes, and I thought, oh, well, wow, look at this. We're moving mm, on. When I said that he was better than Timothy. No, when you said that you were sorry. I mean, that's not saying much. Were well, we just taking yeah, him back I now? I said I was sorry because I viewed him as worse than Timothy before. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh. And so I said sorry and took it back. Great. Okay. Fantastic. So you're gonna hate each other forever. Fantastic. My, you know what I. Well, he doesn't like any of us. He doesn't telegram us. He don't telegram to you. He doesn't like us. Eddie, tell him that's not true. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I'm thinking we could. I could do a bank robbery today. I have not done one in a while, so heat's off. I really, really want to do one. I know you do. But what? What are you even capable of? I don't understand why you think I'm not capable. I do safes. Right. I'm good at shooting. I'm a slippery little fucker. I don't need you to be good at fucking shooting. No, we don't. I don't know okay. what slippery's got to do with it. They can't catch me. They can't catch you. You literally get caught nearly every time I see you're in fucking jail. Okay, that's fair, but normally because... Okay, well, let her do the safes and hand everything over to someone else and then she can get caught. It's fine. Yeah, that's true. That's I'm going to be it's there, fine. though. What happens to me? You won't you get, get Look, I'm really good at being the patsies. I am slippery, but a lot of the time I stay behind and shoot, and then I'm the one who gets caught. I need, a, I need a moment to think about this. Do we have anyone else that hasn't done a bank robbery? Rennie, right? Yeah, Rennie. Well, you're trying to get fucking smart so. ass? Rennie, yeah. Goldie. I'll be right back. Um. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom, guys. I'll be right back. I don't think we're doing a bank robbery with Peaches by herself, man. That sounds fucking crazy to me. I don't think Wallaby would do it. It's too, uh, too risky. But we might do something else, though. I'm just going to think about it. I'll be right back, guys. Give me a minute. Give me, give me, give me, give me five. Give me five. I might get myself a drink as well. I'll be right back.
All right. Perfect timing, man. I think what we're going to do is... I think jumping into a, like a bank job or something is too soon for what happened yesterday. Though, I think we should go to uh, Valentine and sort this Adelaide thing out. When was last time Wallaby talked to Mills? When he was out of Sisica? I mean, yeah, when he's out of Sisica. I know OOC that he's out, but he hasn't telegrammed Wallaby, so Wallaby doesn't know. So if we do tours, we could do like... <gasps> okay, I actually have an idea. We could do swamp tours. Some of us could dress up as swamp creatures and attack the <laughs> tour. And then, you know, you, the people who are leading the tour, can fight them off. And then, you know, ask for repayment for fighting them off or something. Or we get a whole bunch of them in there and then we just rob them all when we take them to a secure location. Yeah, but then you get reported and you'd have to, you know... And then no one gets to dress up as swamp monsters. That sounds fun. What happens when a hunter shows up? <laughs> That'd be hilarious too. We could start a legend of the swamp monster and then we can like have someone tame it and then we're the ones... <gasps> Hold on, I'm getting a lot of ideas. All right, all right, all right. While, 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 she's, bank. while she's thinking about that, I want to ride to Valentine together. We're going to work out this fucking Adelaide situation. The whole telling Law to come here that we got someone kidnapped. That's that, first on the um, agenda. Be a good, um, what? Yeah. Well, we quick chat. Yeah, quick, of course. Quick, quick, quick chat. He's snitching, Charles. Okay, okay. Yeah. But as I said earlier, I spoke to that Charlie fella. Yeah. I basically, well, I'll, I'll just be straight with you. I tried to plant a seed, a seed of doubt. About he what? was there, yes. He about LJ. He okay. was there yesterday. He saw us on the fucking roof, uh -huh. but he didn't hear none of that conversation. And he, I told him he none what of that. I, no, he didn't because he, he apparently he he wasn't he wasn't there for LJ. He was just there, so he came up. Followed Zhang Wei and spotted us, and then probably ran in there. I don't know. I don't know. It's good. It, 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 but the point is, the point is, I told him exactly what I heard, which is that fucking LJ is a selfish motherfucker who would sell him out in a moment if he had the chance. And I told him that uh, I regretted what happened here. In the slaughterhouse. I thought he was telling the truth at the time. Uh, but I told him to really think about it, make up his mind whether huh. he's willing to, uh, well, die for this asshole. Did he, did he not see what happened yesterday? He was there. Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. Like, LJ uh -huh. was told so many times to fucking leave. Mm -hmm. He kept pushing. He wanted to get fucking shot. And he was willing to get them all shot with him. Now, if he needs convincing of that... I think then... he already had his doubts. But I might have just, you know, pushed that a little bit further. Hopefully. Right. You never know with people, but... Uh, I told him how it is. I didn't harm him. We had a... You know, polite conversation of yeah. sorts. What do you think about this Adelaide situation? Her going to the law and saying that we got people kidnapped. Oh, I'm all up for uh, checking that out. Yeah. I don't really know, cause like I said, when I brought when I brought it, I found her just outside. <laughs> you know, thirty meters away. I, I said, "Come on, you can come inside." I had no idea who she was. <laughs> it quickly came apparent that she. Do you well, usually just invite random ladies inside? I mean, she had a nice voice. You know what? Maybe. If I want to maybe. assassinate you. I know exactly how to do it. I mean, it's one way to get penetrated. Okay, all right. All right, we're, we're heading to Valentine. Let's mount up, which means let's run to the fucking goddamn bullshit in Saint Denis.
Higgsy, you coming? Coming where? We're going to Valentine. Okay, I can speak to her. Uh, about what? Speak to him about what? Ah. Huh. Yeah, speak to Laura about what? Make sure I'm not wanted after yesterday. Ah, oh, I guess what? Uh, okay. okay, wait here. I'm gonna go get a horse, okay? I hate you, Charles. Fuck, I need water. Hey, doing man? Tilly's ain't doing man. Enjoy your pizza, man. I've got a telegram to check. That's probably. I'm gonna guess it's Peaches, man. She's a telegram machine. Who's raiding me? I what? Oh, thank you for the rate, mate. How you doing? How is RP today? It's dead, Hank. Listen, we don't talk about Hank anymore, okay? Hank had his justice, man. We've moved on. You do too. You gotta move on. I was gonna bring the horse to you. Oh, and well, Charles got me here. Can we read telegrams? Yeah, we're doing that now. Okay. I have convinced my fiance to have an instrumental version of Walter Matilda playing at our wedding. Oh, shit. Dude, it's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song. Um, so I, I sign off on this. Very nice choice, man. <sighs> we just make sure each of us writes Pete to Telegram of some sort. <laughs> Jojo's alive. Joseph? Jo- Joison? Joinson? No, that was her name. Joseph? Jojo. I talked to Edwin and he told me you declared it a no contest. What the heck, man? I never even get to take the stand. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is that other Jojo. <laughs> Penelope been practicing her fake cry. Done. I want to counter sue or something. I declare a mistrial. Man, this fucking guy shows up one every three months. Once he's fucking troll, well, he can kiss my ass, man. I didn't even declare it no contest. <laughs> oh, we're, he we're heading to yeah. Valentine. We might actually run into him. I always forget there's another Jojo. How we gonna play this through this bathhouse? Yeah. This is nice. Um. I oh know. We'll see what they say. I ain't in the mood. 
For what? Bullshittery. Ass-handedery. You name it. Yeah, I know. Well, none of us are. Hmm. Come on, Minnie. Appreciate the char. We're missing. Oh no, one we're good. We approach this calmly, all right? We gotta get information. I wanna hear her say it. get all angry she's gonna get fucking scared and shit she's not gonna say nothing she's not actually scared yeah, i know that but that's how, that's how she hides so let's not let her do that charles might be able to get the information we need on whom adelaide fuck's sake is oh, everyone God. is everyone paying no, attention no, we couldn't hear you you're gonna yes. have to kiss it out of her. I'm not. Oh God. I want to know exactly to what job. she's done. That's what I want to know. All right, with the regards to her telling Laura about Law you capturing and, someone and whatever else, the fucking cobbler. I want to know what the fuck's going in her head. You got right. She's so up to something. She's feeling abandoned by yeah, her seducer. So you gotta swoop in. I'm not. There. I don't want to seduce her, please. Well, you gotta seduce You're gonna her. have yeah. to, Charles. You have to tangle no, with her. I don't it's have the to. I can you my notes. Just do I don't the need your notes. Thank you very much. Yes, you do. Just... She's looking I for know. a third yeah, snake. Listen, well, if you have to do the horizontal waltz, we understand. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we make Pete do it? Because let's, I think let's, Pete can seduce a woman. No, no let's, let's yeah, face it. Pete would Pete. fall flat on his face. Oh. No, no, oh, Pete, Liz. come on. You think Charles, you were bragging about how she has a thing for you, no? I'm not bragging, it's actually a thing. Well, there you go. Okay, but you still, him, Pete, you know. Pete's got a lot of stamina. He's a young Cut man. Cut glass balls. <laughs> Pete has a lot of stamina. He has, he's off. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh yeah, I got, I got a little stamina. That's right. It's a lot of stamina. They call them stamina peeps. Oh my god. Watch out for horses. What? Is Peter oh. into peeps oh. or something now? How? How? How after I just fucking said that? <laughs> He's got okay. He fucking glasses. Okay. That's it. He needs glasses and that's it. The end of it. I said he needs to, watch to get out. a doctor, and he needs glasses. Damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't see. Why does he need a doctor? He needs to get a glass. Yeah, I'm oh, that makes sense. How to Jay? How to Shay? I have Charles, tell us how you gonna woo, though. We're we gonna rush. I got some guns to sell those motherfuckers. You wanna sell to? The okay. Irish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to yeah. go back, you can meet us in Valentine if you want. We can do it on the way back. We can do it on the way back. Hopefully Adelaide's here, man. Oh, yesterday, Adelaide and Clementine were passed in, in boards at the gun shop. Wait, Clementine's told, with her? Yeah, and I told Adelie to stop feeding my man and to feed her own man. Huh. How'd she and take she that? Start, well, she started shouting about wanting to shoot me, and then Fred put his gun out and said, What did you say? You said you were going to shoot her? And then she immediately decided to backtrack. I 
Yes, sir. Hey, Peaches. Yeah? Do you know how close Clementine is with Adelaide? I know that she's with the Red Water Company more of the times. Who, Clem? Yeah. Um, because she's really close to Morgan's. Oh, for fuck's um, sake. I know that she was close to Martinez. Adelaide, I've never seen them together, but like I said, I'm not that close to Clem. They were in the wagon together yesterday. I mean, to be fair, Clem rides with a lot of fairies. Yeah, but they were like in a two-seater wagon, just them. Yeah, okay. They might be close, you're nice. I ain't talked to Clem in like a month. She did get shot by the Denizos the other day. That's all I know. Yes, fires, but I don't know if Adelaide's, Adelaide's part of his group or the other fucking section. It's so confusing, man. Why do they shoot Because they's dumb. You know what? I'll ask them. How about that? When they're about to shoot me, I'll ask why they shoot people. Why are they going to shoot you? Well, I don't know. I just mean like, if I ask them that, they're going to shoot me. She's being dramatic. Yeah, why don't you I'm just ask the people that already got... Yeah, why don't you ask the people that already got shot? I don't know. I, you don't know? Does it really matter that much? I, I gotta be Yeah, honest. I thought she I rides don't... with the boys. I, 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 I remember so that she told me I that. But I don't fucking know, man. It's so confusing. They got two fucking groups in one. Well, let me tell you something, lazy ass. <laughs> you can get off the back of this fucking horse and you can put in some goddamn work. Yeah, okay. Don't you lazy to even have a goddamn conversation? <laughs> Oh, God. What? Shut up. <laughs> what are you doing? He said to get off. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm left. Get back out with his horse. Listen, that goddamn <laughs> shit. Goddamn. <laughs> I don't know if I can do with these people. If I ever die, this group is fucked. confuses me is if I just think against Adelaide does that mean I have to deal with mama or is I, I got no idea I don't know how it works hunters to the right they're just hunting why is there a fucking oh my god don't look behind us There was something weird going on. I don't know. I don't exactly know what I saw. Yeah, we are all grumpy. I don't know. I'm screaming right now. Shot yesterday, that's why. Yeah. You were there. Yeah, I was there. I remember that. Exactly. Isn't that a reason enough to be grumpy? Yeah, sure. Yep, to see you. I'm gonna go check my telegrams. I'll be back. Alright. Hey. Hello. Oh, sorry. Hello. Is Scout about? Uh, no, sorry. No, sorry. What about Adelaide? Oh, dude, you, you, you was a week earlier, but um, I haven't seen her in like an hour. Oh, look, it's 
Because she was here about an hour ago. She calls the circus. What'd she say? She said the circus is in town. Hi, Goose. What's the show, Wallaby? I see you brought all your circus friends. I want to see the show. That's not very nice now, is it? Oh, well, I would be saying that coming from you now, right? You don't do very nice things, do you, Wallaby? No, I don't, but you're supposed to be the nice one. Oh, right. Yes, of course. Aren't it's you all like, you. Uh, aren't you, uh, shouldn't you be like doing the church, you know, about forgiveness and right. treating others yes, how you yes, want to be treated? Exactly. No? Yes, uh, I will definitely listen. And coming from you, of course, that means so much to me. Absolutely. I didn't expect better from the Giza. That's yes. a shame, Goose. That is a real shame. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry too much about me anyway. I'd worry about yourself. I don't think you're worrying enough about yourself. I think that's a oh, problem. Oh, so now you're gonna, you're gonna criticize old lady, huh? No, I'm Does not. make you feel better, Wallaby? No, it doesn't make me feel better. I'm just riding yeah. into town and you're, for Mind some reason, poking yourself. at me. I don't know why. Oh, I just, you know, I just was saying the show's here. I'd like to see you. You want to see all. a show? I'm saying. Yes. All right. And, um, a whiskey, please. Sure. Thank you. Howdy. Hello. So it just takes a moment. No worries. Holy bazongas! You're Juniper, aren't you? Yes. Uh, well, I'll be a swell. I was just you. saying what you're commenting. Oh, so you're loud. Oh, I see. Okay. Hello again. How are you? Okay, what can I get you all? I can't knock the binoculars out of your hands, okay? Did he? Because I'm injured. I was just saying what she was commenting about, okay? Oh, right, right. Uh, anything I can uh, get yeah, you? Yeah, I want a whiskey whisked. Want a whiskey whisked? I will do it. Thank you very much. Mm. Any stew? <laughs> what? No stew, what? thank you, no. Hello again, how are you? At least try to be subtle. Oh, Mr. Morgan, how are you? Just yeah, give me one moment. Uh, I was it's good to see you. Good to no, see you, you as well. looked at oh. how blue bees mm. Fair enough, I could have been more subtle. You could have been more subtle. Hey, uh, Mills and Alice are coming here. Wait, Mills out of jail? Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, shit, where are they gonna be here? Uh, they're in Armadengo right now, so it's gonna take a little. When did they telegram you? Between yes, roads and here. Also, I'm gonna take a bath. I'll be back. W two dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. I appreciate you. Whiskey West. Beautiful. Thank mm. you very much. Mm, that's right. What can I get you, Mr. Morgan? Whatever you're offering. Terribly sorry to hear about what happened to your mama. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that, too. It was a good one. I think you both should back off right now. Oh, That's my. What, what is your fucking problem today? I don't think, I don't think we need to hear nothing about it. Juniper's been through a lot. She doesn't need it right now. We were apologizing to what happened to her mother. Is that not allowed? That's allowed, but that's all that's allowed. <laughs> What happened? What are you, just the did. surrogate mother now? Yeah, what's going on? I am, here? actually. I am her grandmother. So if you have a problem, <laughs> then you can talk to me about it. I think, I think this. Mrs. Goose is stepping up to you, Eddie. I mean, he Seems did kidnap her a week ago. I don't think there's anything much else for him to say other than he's sorry. Well, maybe that's what I was about to get to. Maybe I was making my condolences. But you, Missy, 
came up to me and did the same thing that you always do, and you look down you on me. You didn't talk to me that way after you see all. You you go. I can speak to you anybody scum, any way I want to. You're absolute scum. You're scum. Scum, say. Yes. Well, that's not very I nice. am a pillar of many communities I around these parts. Sneeze on you, and I bet you'd burn up in flames with all the evil inside of you, boy. Whoa, oh, whoa, great. whoa. Is that a wig? Oh, she Can definitely wears a wig. You sit here and joke, oh, that old lady, she crazy, whatever. You all got to sleep with yourselves at night. You smell like urine. Thank you. Oh, God. You're welcome. So, like I said, you can apologize to Judy. That's fine, yes, Daddy, but that's I all. Didn't, I didn't need an apology. It's fine. She doesn't need an apology. Well, you heard her, the unscram. What the fuck is your problem? Excuse me? You what? want to come down and say that to my face, Sonny? <laughs> this is this is some fucking high comedy right here. Oh well, yes, like I said, go here and go <laughs> laugh at the old lady. Something. You know, keep <laughs> doing your bad something. things. And, you Just know, think you know, and talk nice people. Mm -hmm. The bad guy, Miss Goose, is the bad guy. Not us. No, no. No, no, no. It, ain't, it ain't about no bad guys. It ain't about no good guys. Let me tell you what it's about. I don't really you care what you have to say, dear. To be you. honest, uh, nothing that comes from your mouth means nothing to me. It's because you know. As well as anybody else, if you sit here in your little tower and look down on all the peasants, knowing that you oh, got good standing in the peasants. community, and you got lucky getting in on that church, if you didn't have none of that, you'd be the same. You'd be the same old crone going down the side of the street or working the corner of Saint Denis. Let me tell you this: if I had it my way, Missy. It would have been a whole lot more damage done to whoever. Yep. Uh, I, I'll give you a card because I'll re energize so. you. If you look down on me, call me such words, I have killed. Right, let's go. Less. I will tell you this. Dread lightly. I think it's time for you to go. Oh, oh my god. Good job, Annie. Who oh, else wants one? I'll give you another, I, I tell you. Go on. Who else wants to slap <laughs> across the face? Are you gonna take that, Edwin? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Give me a sec. Slap yourself across the face. He said do that. To uh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. You don't need to make it What is he doing? Her mother just died. Who died? Who died? You don't need... You don't need to make it worse. I would... Oh. He's got the hammer. Her mother, Ripley. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold on. I tell you what you don't want to hear, and oh god forbid, Miss Goose, we gotta kill her. Oh god, all right, all guy. right. Let's not get hasty here, Eddie. She's an old no, bag. No, she's gonna die fine. any day don't now. Don't it. waste your time. Let's see what he's got to say. Don't worry, you know. It, uh, let's see <clears throat> what he's got to say. I'm gonna tell you this once, Mrs. Goose. I want you to I rub don't, your I... ears so you know. And listen to me very carefully. I yes, might have a little soft spot for you because you're a little old lady and I don't want to see you hurt. But if you keep running your fucking mouth, I'm going to make sure and you're not us. the one that gets hurt. It'll be someone you fucking care about and I'll make you fucking watch. So shut your fucking mouth. I mean, you can tell me whatever you want, dear, but you know you are the one who has to sleep at night. You can say, you know, this and that, old Miss Goose, this and that, she's being so nasty, she's not shutting All her right. mouth. I I'm not gonna enough. stop him, he can do what he fucking wants. I'm sick of the hypocrisy. I see you slapped him, and you honestly believe he's just gonna stand there and take you? <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know who you are, little girl. I think you should be quiet. Don't tell her to be quiet. 
Oh, this yeah, is going to be a shit show. Week, uh, Hey, oh, break it up, break it up. Rob, all right, all right, all right. Everybody Rob, break it up. You can uh, rob, you can kidnap, but God forbid an old lady tells you how it is and what you don't want to hear. Yeah, I feel well, like we don't right. Get told us. Now move the fuck on. Ladies. Separate. I don't know. I'm not going nowhere. Look, let's just go inside. All Neither right, just let them go. You're just like us, old lady. You think of just because you stand in that church, you's holier and can do whatever you want. Oh, fuck, I am gonna I go. I am a lot holier, trust me. I don't want to hurt Mrs. Goose, man. She's fucking asking for it though, holy shit. Wait a minute, what? Oh, Coop Lube, of course. Uh. Hurt Juniper? I don't want to hurt Juniper, man. I was gonna, but it's not worth not worth. This is still going. Thank you so much. That means so much. Thank you all. God bless everybody. I'm really sad about oh, Ripley. God I'm really bless. Sorry for loss. I really liked her. I'm really upset about it. Thank you. I appreciate well, that. Yeah. I hope you got people around you besides that lady to support you. But the like, she, she didn't mean it. Please don't hold it against her. She just, she doesn't know what she's saying sometimes. Yeah, all right. Well, I, I, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. And we mean no offense, all right? Oh, no, I think she does, but um, I well, appreciate she you saying it. Well, she but yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's, she's not Hey, Jennifer, you went for a, a ride for a little bit? Um... I wanted uh, to talk to you about something real quick. Can we talk in town, please? Yeah, just on the outside of town. For what, then? Yeah, come here, man. How to feel? I'll bring you back in less than two. I don't know past Mrs. Goose. They're right back. Where is she? Sorry about her. That's alright. Where is she? I gotta let her know that you're safe. Oh, there she is. I'll see you later, Goose. He wants to talk for a moment. Alright. Now, what has got her so upset? Well, Whipley died recently, so I bet she's just, you know, a bit protective, that's all. So her idea of protecting is by antagonizing people? Well, it's not exactly smart, but, you know, right. she, uh, she just, I don't know. Well, I don't want any don't... problems with her, so if you could do me a favor, just have a little talk with her. And calm her the fuck down, because next time I can't promise that nothing's going to happen. I got people that don't particularly like to be poked. I'll give her I a know. free pass this time, because I like Mrs. Goose. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah. Just, um... She's got to be fucking careful. Very careful. Yeah. I'll talk to her. Right. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Appreciate it.
Alright. I think we want to scatter for a second. Is that who we went to go see? <sighs> no, that's Juniper. Oh. Yeah, that's Juniper. Fuck. I always get them mixed up. She was really. F she fucking what? slapped what the, the shit out of you. Yeah, that was really funny. The you fuck, did Eddie. That. I wouldn't I wouldn't mm -hmm. laugh though, Pete. I mean you had a fight, you couldn't do that much damage with him. She hits harder than you. <laughs> Old lady hits harder God. than you. God damn. <laughs> God damn. You guys really expected me to do something there? No. Nope. I knew you were bluffing. Sorry for the old hag. <laughs> <laughs> She's an old lady that's like a trump card. Can't do nothing to her. Yeah. I tell you what. That look like no one from the bathhouse is really here that we can talk to. But apparently Adelaide was here about an hour ago. Well, I also males are coming here to meet. Where the fuck did Pixie go? It's a good question. Oh my god, did she just go walk about? Possibly. Hey, just can you go find her? I can try. Check the telegram office. Uh, you know, you ask the one person don't have a horse. Can I borrow some tellers? Then what? Can I borrow the your horse? Stable. My horse right yes. there. You, you guys want to play poker to, while we wait? Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's Why play some not? poker while we wait. I got 10 bucks. I've got Who the fuck you up? 70. Yeah, take some of this. No, 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 you ain't putting down 70 though. I got like 14, so I think we should all put down 10 bucks. Oh, Come on, man. Yeah, fine. 10 dollars. Wait, what? 10 dollars. Oh my. No, you gotta buy it at 20. Oh, you can't buy it at 20. Can somebody, you owe me, can, can somebody give me six dollars? You owe me 50 else. bucks, by the way, Pete. <laughs> no, I thought, but yes, but I Don't you dare you say that. no, you stingy son of a bitch. Yeah, I put. Take that. I, 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 I you took 20 and then you took 30. Yeah, boys, also, boys, boys! I also added three hundred. And now to the I can't play poker. The Pete. other day, you know, you go, uh, Charles will lend you the money. You. God damn! <laughs> God damn! I put three hundred in the old. Dude, this guy's know, dressed like Boyd, man. Pot of room. Pete, I mean, where the where, hello? What? He needs I ain't got money. No money. I'm not giving him money. Oh, wait, do you need money too? Yeah, Charles, can you loan him some money? Wait, wait, come back, wait. come back, come yeah, back. Yeah, you put 300 back. away. <laughs> I put 700 away, Pete. Where's my 50 bucks you owe me? <laughs> no, I put... <laughs> Sounds wait, like you owe the man 50 bucks there, Pete. I, right, well, I will win it from this game and give it back to him. Oh. No one give him the money. I don't have the money to give him. I just asked you for $10 so I can play. I don't have the money. There you go. To tell them okay. You want to come play poker? Uh, I'm not really good at it yet. That's all right. Come play. Yeah. How much you got going for? Just twenty. In for? Just twenty. Okay. Appreciate it. All good. Much love, Sean. A forty k and it's probably over fifty bucks. Yeah, that's 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 why we're rich, man. All right, it's time to take all your money. Yeah, we all read it. Yeah. Put some fucking. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You better beat these scrubs, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, I've got a good hand. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm still oh my asking God. what's a good hand. How do you know if you have a good hand? Um, if it's smooth, the then it's moist. And they're also, if they are... Uh, smooth if the numbers are very close together, <laughs> if the suits are very much the same. That kind of thing. 
Okay, well then I have the best. What the? What the? What the fuck? She's. Higgs, that's not how you play. You're going to. No, she's muscling us out. That's what she's doing. This is going to be the. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm good. Yeah, I, I want to play more than just one. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm, You're damn right. I ain't going to bet that much. Missy, that's that's uh, considered uh, a I'm bad. I'm calling. That's I'm oh, calling. No. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh, you, ain't, you ain't bluffing me. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I have a good hand? <laughs> Wait. Oh, Wait, this what? is fuck. No, no, you know what? No, I had a great yeah. hand too. Wait, wait. That's so that fucking annoying. Nice. Oh my god. Three aces! Three. I'm not sure if I have a good hand. Is that good? This is fucking that's, bullshit. That's, that's yeah, very good. yeah. Ace, you did a good yeah, job. That was pretty good. See, that was pretty good. Okay. I had a two, I had a two pair. Had a fucking don't do two that pair. again, though. Don't do that again. Okay. I I'd, uh, I check her sleeves following. You fucking hustled by my girlfriend. Okay, I won't do that again. Sorry, I'll just throw this in. What? She don't believe her. She knows what she's fucking doing. Yeah, she's fucking. She's playing. She's playing. <laughs> Peaches, get a seat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe. I don't think I got enough money to buy in. What oh, I do! Yeah! Wow, I can't believe you went all in on the first fucking hand. Well, I had a good hand. Yeah, that's not how you play. Hustle. How am I supposed to know? I'm alright. Just... God damn it. Mm-hmm. Not today. She fucking destroyed me, man. Ooh. Sure, no problems, Ooh. man. Chin up, dude. He's gonna rage quit like G and G. He might. He might. I'm waiting for Adelaide to show up. I know Mills is on his way. Uh -huh. I love watching you play poker verts. Very entertaining. Dude, shut up. I don't know if that's serious or you're taking shots at me. Five dollars. Bobby, you're mad at me. Yes. Because you played me and you're still playing me right now with your way you're fucking talking. What do you have? None. Yeah. I None. Know. You're so full of shit. You would have won. I would have won, but I didn't really have nothing. Oh, Ooh, fuck. This is good. Dude, trash. <laughs> I've got five aces. Yeah. Fucking trash I'm folding. Right. That's not possible. There's only four. Oh, I'll just put these ones back up on my sleeve. Trash, and I've man. I've got two. You've got two. No, That's a good hand. No, it's not. Okay, I've got one. It's a good hand. What have you got, Pete? Ah. Yeah, have an ace as got? well. Are you? <laughs> we all have aces. Is it? <laughs> I don't. Now I'm going to raise. That's a Are you great hand. hand Wallen? I folded. Come on, buy it. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, Wait, you folded already? You didn't even see the hand? <laughs> no, I saw the fucking hand. Y'all got to wait for the drop. No, I don't. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, even the river. Thank God I folded, well, man. Well, looks like we've all got it. Thank God I folded, man. We've all got two pairs. That means someone. I saved two dollars, bro. Or does it? Ejaculate. How many Great aces name, man. Think of months, dude. Multiple. Idris, I think of seven months. Except I didn't have an ace. I would, have, I would have had a pair. All right. All in. All in? No, just kidding. I All right. Bye bye. <laughs> mm. 
That's a wagon. People are riding in from that way. Yeah, you can have that. Who's that? I had no ace either. This is like the worst Who spot to fuck? sit. If someone was trying to assassinate you, man, this would be the worst spot to sit. Oh shit, that an ace though. Okay. Why is everyone claiming ace every fucking hand? What if I actually have an ace though? Doesn't even matter no, if you have cling, an ace. No, cling, I'm not. Making money, so bro. It, it, when the hand drops, like the other five cards, it could change the whole look. But I had two aces that one time, and then I won. Wild Bill, man. That's right. You know, I was going to throw that ace away. Why not? Who are those guys? No call this. There's no law presence in town at the moment, which is... interesting to me. Oh, my fucking God. <sighs> Why, why are you guys tapping the table? Uh, it's to check. So we're not putting any money down. We're just willing to move it around the table for now. What a big nothing. That's Good time for a stupid. bank robbery. Put some money in there. Does anyone have any dynamite or some lockpicks? I got dynamite. Yeah, I, I got both. Lockpicks. Yeah, we could go rob the bank. Me, me, Pigsy, and Peaches, and come right back to the table. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Wait, okay, she's okay. hurt. All right, all right, all right. She's hurt. All right, she just have to walk across the street and then walk back over here, but okay. I'm injured. I mean, you and Peaches could do it. That, that'd be... Yeah. No, we can't. Fight the duo. Rude. That, not with that attitude. <laughs> Be lucky you don't have no faith in me. You ain't ever robbed nothing with me. Yeah, and you still haven't Put got the point yet. Put some money in there, people. Would you fuck? Why would you do that? What is your problem? I needed to put money well, in Well, now there. guess what? Now I'm folding. <laughs> so she took everything. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> sorry. You fold like three fucking... You know, shut the fuck up, okay, nothing. Charles? Because I'm, I'm playing it smart. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, and you I just gave her the money. I just didn't have anything, Charles. Well, well, you don't you, you call her bluff. With another bluff? Yes. That's how it's Were played. you dropped? Yes. Outside the slaughterhouse. Holy shit. Hello. Oh, not this guy. Who's he? Oh, I gave him a word of warning about... Owning Wait, expensive it's things, and I might have scared him a little bit. What, Alvin? Told him if he doesn't fuck off, I'll take the gun That's off. That's not him. Alvin. What the fuck? Alvin. Oh, never mind, sorry. Uh, He's a very yeah, scared individual. Okay. I think Nils got arrested, man. <laughs> Anything else? Jack! Are y'all paying together? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ooh. I don't like how you said that. Sorry. I mean, ooh. But I think you're full of shit, and I think you're bluffing yet again, so guess what? I'm gonna raise. That'd be a dollar fifty. <laughs> okay. I knew it. Oh, fuck. They're all gonna fold over two dollars. Thank you, darling. I appreciate you. I'm gonna say nothing. Oh, okay. Charles is in. Okay. Yes, well, Peaches, get in. Yeah, I understand that problem. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Now I'm. Just okay. Stayed in. Did you have an ace? No. Oh. That was funny to make you think there. Got a full what fucking house bed. Then you have sweet aces. Three aces, yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah.
fuck did you just put in? <laughs> what? Peaches! How much? <laughs> I didn't see her slide the money over. What did she put in? She put in six dollars. You got an ace, Peaches. Maybe. She's probably got a two. I think you're lying. I think you're full of shit. I mean, I'm going shit. I think you're full of fucking shit. I think you're full of shit too. Put that money on in, buddy. Easy money, boys. Easy money, boys. Why did you get excited oh, about geez. a school? What was that? Nothing. Are you fucking whore? <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. All in. Balling me. <laughs> oh, now they can't love me. Nah, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, I'll call it. Ah. Uh... Full house full of aces. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was good. I do not like the way he keeps looking over at me. Who? Which one? The one in the yellow. Go tell him the fuck off. Another race? Another oh, race? Oh, Is that three in a row? too <laughs> much. Interesting. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, now we're back in profit, man. What you got? We made nine dollars. Ah, uh, you know, something semi decent. That'd be a first. Did you not see the last hand? Yeah, that was decent, not semi decent. I've already caught dicey. up to you. Oh yeah, y'all are neck and neck. Look at that. We what? see the flop. We see the flop. <laughs> Peaches is trying to come back into play. How much did you just put in? Just uh, everything she oh. got. Which is all I got. F fuck. I'm checking. I gotta be honest. I have no clue how poker works. Dealt shit. Oh. Watch, watch an ace drop. Watch this. Watch, watch an ace drop. Oh, I don't think anyone has anything, so I'm gonna bet. We'll bet five dollars. I think that's enough to drop them out. And she had nothing, man. She just went all in at the start, okay? Uh, I've been flying so down for a telegram. I'll come with you. Uh, I'll do it next round, so don't... What? <laughs> God damn it, Missy. Missy, you could just lockpick the door for me. And then walk back over here and start playing poker. I don't know if Peach is as fast though on the, the locks. I think anyone but me would be good. No one else can do it but you. Everyone done a bank robbery. Yes, they can. Too much heat. They did it like yesterday. I swear Peach is Doctor, come over here. Oh, I gotta talk to him. He doesn't want to talk to you. Why don't you get the fucking hint? Uh, I'm going to right, telegrams. <laughs> well, you called him over and he walked away. What do you want from me? He probably didn't hear me. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how are you doing? Always. 
You know what, Pete? I think you got something. You know why? Because you've had nothing the whole fucking game. You've been, you've been folding, and all of a sudden you yell out fuck, and then you raise. You motherfucker. You got an ace or, or a jack, don't you? Yeah, I'm fucking out. I don't trust you <laughs> one bit, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I fucking oh, knew it. I fucking knew it, man. I knew it, man. <laughs> well, fuck it. You got sucked in that one, Ed. Ah, went in Rome. Um, so. Yeah! Oh, oh my god, you had nothing. Yo, baby. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> Um, Alice and Mills are meeting at the slaughterhouse. So if you want to see oh, them, we okay. gotta go there. Oh, for fuck's sake. How long ago was that? Um, I just got the telegram. <sighs> money, big problems. Huh? Big money, big problems. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey! Yeah. I think y'all been needing this. Where the, where the hell did you put my horse? My money. Okay. Did I not get. <laughs> what do you want me to do with this? What okay. do you mean? What, you think I should just do it now? No, but I thought, I yeah, thought maybe you now. would need it. You know. Where's that yellow guy? Like, at like that some guy point hostage, in the near future. In the near future. Okay. All, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. Yeah, you're we welcome. You are welcome. You're welcome. Come on. <laughs> you're Where the welcome. Fuck are we going? That place. All right. God. Dude. The, okay, the table. Okay, so I just I, I I didn't go negative or positive. I just broke even. Uh, Missy's on her way to telegrams. There was a lawman in there. Thank God we didn't do it, man. We would have got ID straight away. Just go. Hey. Oh. Hello, babe. I'm, I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. No, no, for no, yours. no, for yours. no. <laughs> off my horse. Okay, okay, fine. Don't get me. Okay, don't get me dirty. Ow. You gotta get your girl on a on a on a tidal leash, Eddie. Oh my god. Excuse me. Is she still making her way to the office? Um Yeah, she's right there. Oh, okay. Hey. You wanna be in here? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. What are you doing, man? What? I'll see shit like that. that man in the yellow. I mean, I listen. You both. Oh, don't listen, man. Stop trying to. You're pushing me into this. I'm not pushing you into anything. I'm not pushing you into anything. I just, I, you know, I, I know desire when I see it. And it's in, yeah, it's in, in her eyes. eyes. It's in your eyes too. It's not my eyes. I, I see it. That's why you're not defensive. It, it, it would be uh, beneath me to not yeah. say something. Uh huh. Uh huh. You keep using that excuse. What, um, what I just if you gotta... Missy broke up and then people just started talking bad about her? You wouldn't have anything to say. All right, what's going on? I uh, just got another telegram saying they're gonna be fish. Son of a me, you don't listen to a goddamn friend. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So you got, you got another telegram? What? Saying they're gonna be fifteen or thirty minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Where? At the slaughter house. Okay. Pigsy, what, what were you going to say? Sam? Mills and Alice. Uh, okay. What was your telegram? Uh, from the law, they say if I come to Black Guardian, they can take a statement about what happened yesterday. Well, if we got 30 minutes, we might as well do that then. Okay. Let me bring the horse around. Uh, I'm gonna meet you at the slaughterhouse, all right? Uh, I, I gotta run and do something, and then I'll come right back. Okay. Okay, I'll see y'all soon. Uh huh. South of the border. Tell me. 
Don't take her away. Where the fuck my horse? Oh, there it is. All right, we're going to Blackwater first. Law want to see Pigsy. Then we'll go meet Mills. They said they're going to be 30 minutes anyway. Where the tuna fish play. It again. Thank you, Jade. Which law is the one that contacted you? Maybe let Missy know your story? Uh, which story? Oh, the thing? Yeah, yeah. Biscuits and brew. Think of the 200 bits. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. <laughs> uh, Bolton. All right. Well, the story we're, we're uh, going with is that they came to us to try to... Yeah. Well, they came to our home. So they started the fight. I don't think it's going to fucking matter, though. I think they're going to arrest us all. Well, I'm just gonna tell them the truth. I don't remember much. Huh. I told them that I came out of the slaughterhouse while it was ending. Yes, Dusty do. It was. Charges are gonna get stacked. I think if they checked if they checked with the uh, the Jeff there's no doubt gonna be bullets there with my fingerprints on it because I uh, fucked up a couple reloads I think if I don't have any fingerprints there I'll be very lucky stacking. I mean, Law are usually pretty good about it. I very rarely feel like they're stacking charges. At least not intentionally. Oh, we're all human. We all make mistakes. The stacking thing is more of a joke. Oh, 100%, yeah. For you, but I've seen others get slammed. 
Bro, you're talking to someone who literally Wallaby done some of the biggest fucking time for for a long time. There wasn't many people that were getting fucking charged more than Wallaby, so I don't know what that means. Early Wallaby got fucked so hard. <laughs> Howdy. I tell you what, my first arrest sheet was with Wallaby. I still got it saved. I'll read it out in a second. The Alice tax? What's the Alice tax? I don't know what the Alice tax is. Alice tax is a myth. Uh, we can wait on the dock. I remember when you annoyed some deputy with how long of a charge sheet you had. <laughs> Wasn't that... Um I can't remember who that was. I thought that was literal bear, wasn't it? Last time chat cry cried Alice taxes when Alice paid for a knife and gave it gave it to a guy who killed a guard. I don't understand what the Alice tax I don't I don't understand what that means. Give me a second. Let me just read out this fucking charge sheet. I got it written down. Right, this is Wallaby's first arrest. Four, four counts of hostage taking, one count of assault with a deadly weapon, one count of assault with a deadly weapon against a public servant, one count of fleeing and eluding, two counts of kidnapping of a public servant, two counts of obstruction of justice, 18 counts of robbery under $500. Eight counts of robbery over $500, one count of brandishing, one count of false reporting of a crime, one count of kidnapping, one count of theft of government property, two counts of false imprisonment of a public servant, two counts of escape from custody, one count of possession of a moonshine card, 15 counts of weapons trafficking, and one bank robbery. That was his first arrest. And that wasn't even my biggest arrest. 18 counts of robbery and 18 counts of robbery. Under five hundred dollars. <laughs> Alice tax is crimes you didn't commit. Blanket charges getting max time for each crime. Can you, do you have an example of that? Because I'll say this. Blanket charges happen because uh, when you're dealing with gangs doing gang-related activity and that there's and there's little to no real evidence to go by exactly who was there and no one wants to talk and no one wants to tell you anything on either side, it's very hard to prove things. And 
sometimes gangs just get pulled into gang activity, man. It's happened to me many times. I don't, I don't think it's an exclusively Alice thing or an exclusive Kettleman gang thing. <clears throat> Alice got charged for murder, okay? But how many times did she not get charged for shit? I, 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 tell, I tell you what. <clears throat> what what annoys me is what you're basically saying. Okay, like let, let, let's take the the meme away of like the Alice tax and all that shit. Right, take the meme away. Let's just... <laughs> oh, f oh my god! Come on, Pete. You're all right. Swim to the fucking dock. Fucking go! Fucking go! What you? Essentially saying it's a joke and a meme. Okay, cool. Because 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 if, if if it's not a joke, then people are literally saying that people are getting like treated differently to everybody else for like no reason, which is a little uh, touchy. She shouldn't be long, and we'll go to the slaughterhouse and meet with Mills. Have you met Mills, Pete? No, you haven't. Yeah. Oh, you have? Yeah, the church job. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. Well, some do, to be completely honest. No. No, they don't. The thing is this. What factors into how much time you get is determined by how you react to being arrested and how you roleplay situations and how willing you are to work with law. No one is getting treated worse. It's just that some people work with law and some people don't. If Wallaby had the attitude of never talking to law and I never cut deals, I never gave them information, I never gave them guns back. If I did none of that, I'd be getting max times and fines as well. And I know that for a fact because I used to get that with Wallaby. <laughs> Eddie served 35 days for a bank robbery. Yeah, he cut a deal. He gave him a bunch of shit back. He spoke to him and he got time served. Did you hear the full conversation? Or no? I don't buy the whole conspiracy of, oh, this role player, we're going to max them out. And because it's this other role player, I'm going to cut that in half. That's not how it works. They will cut your time regard uh, depending on one, who's arresting you, two, the RP, three, if you work and communicate with law, four, if you're violent or whether you turn yourself in, five, if you give them shit like guns and stolen stuff back. And the reason why we don't get as much time is because literally all five of those things, we use all of them. We give shit back if we don't, if, if, we, if we got guns and shit we don't care about, we'll give them back. If the story dictates it, we'll turn ourselves in peacefully. That's always a good fucking 50 days reduction just for that. We'll talk to law and give them information on other gangs and shit because we don't really care. We have no loyalty to other gangs. You know? So we use all these things to get time reduction. We don't take hostages. We did a bank robbery. No hostages. Hostage taking is like 100 something days, isn't it? It's like 100 days, I'm pretty sure. Or close to. Like, we don't even do that charge. There's, like, j just just having a... Like, j just saying, hey, DEG gets treated differently to this group is... is there's so much context missing there. Like, it, the way that we deal with law and the way that every other gang deals with law are two different things. Do not tell me that this gang here does the exact same shit, for example, another gang does, and we both get different, outco um, different outcomes. That's not the truth. 
We both handle situations very differently and we both get different results. I'm not saying one's right and one's wrong, but it's disingenuous to, to claim that we're all doing the same thing and getting different results. That's not fair. That's not, that's not fair uh, for us because you're claiming that we're getting special treatment or someone else is getting special treatment. And it's not fair to law who are just doing their job. And they're not out to get anybody. Like I said, I've been on the other side. Wallaby used to get fucked. I mean, I, I mean, most of you are here. Early Wallaby? How many, how many times did we, like, do OOC time and you guys were like, ah, oh, damn it, man. Now we don't see Wallaby for another two weeks. <clears throat> Happened all the fucking time. All the time. I wasn't getting special treatment. All of a sudden, Lord just didn't go, oh, you know what? Let's treat Vertigo differently. They were fucking me, man. And deservedly so. I was doing some crazy shit. <laughs> I was doing crazy shit. It's taken me a long time to learn. It's taken me a long time to learn how to do crime without doing huge times. It's taken a long time for me to figure it out. Almost the better part of a year it's taken me to learn, you know? And I'm trying to pass it, I'm trying to pass it on to like, uh, to these other characters that are coming into the group. You know? That's not to say we will never do OOC time. We will. We get OOC time. But look, look, look at the oil, the oil, um, the situation at the oil field. Just that, just turning in then, we went from 700 days to maybe, we would have got to like 900 days if we had gone to, if we gone out fighting. But instead we negotiated weapons, handing, handing over weapons. We we discussed coming over innocently. We I mean, peacefully shit like that time served. And we, we snuck under the 400 threshold. You can't expect to just not talk to law, not cooperate with law, n like never turn in peacefully, always go guns blazing, expect law to like give you a bunch of favors. It's not going to happen. You're living in a fantasy land. Peppo thinks law's OP. Law is OP, but they should be OP. They should feel... When the law comes crushing down on your balls, I it should think. feel like it. In my opinion. In my opinion. Right. You should... You, you, you shouldn't... I'm kind of... Tired. Are you tired? Yeah. I don't know why. This you, is one of those days. You want to go to sleep? Uh, in a little bit. Probably. All right. Why? I was just thinking about pulling off the biggest heist of all time. You're going to miss out. I can't take part in it, Wallaby. You don't even know what I'm doing. You said it was a heist. No, I'm just kidding. I have... No, no. Yeah. I'm not doing a heist. Things are too hot right now. I don't even know if Law's going to charge us with that fucking shootout. We need to find out what's going on with that first. They could walk out here in like two minutes time with guns drawn and want to take us in. We don't know. Fuck. I hope not. Maybe. Peppo feels like law has zero conse- Wait a minute. He's, are you trying to say consequences? A lot of what Peppo says is to get his chat rolled up and investigate. You think that's what this is about story. then? Yeah, they're talking to her about the shootout. Alright. You want to go eavesdrop? Absolutely. Yeah. Go How be, are we going to do it? Go, be sneaky, Pete. Them. Get on the roof. Get on the roof. Okay. Oh, you just tell Oh, yeah, I there's see. A ladder you're just telling back. me. Yeah, go. Go okay. listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. sneaky, Pete. I am. I am. First of all, though, I got to be scuba Pete.
Did he get out of the water? Who knows? Pete? I didn't notice if he got out or not. I, I didn't notice if he got out. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Sneaky Pete's on the mission. <laughs> Only problem I have with law is they do multiple charges this for same crime. If they do that, Duke, it's usually an accident. Like I said, people are human, man. I, I've 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 done that myself when I've charged people in law. I've I've put multiple crimes and I've had to change it. We're not, I mean, at the end of the day, we're role-playing law. We're not actual fucking law, all right? <laughs> you know? What is he doing? You underestimate the sneakiness. There he is. He's now on the roof and he's listening. Now he didn't fall, he's up there. see that his little fucking head pop out and then he waved and ducked back down do it again <laughs> do it again where do you oh what's he doing I sleep with lower months, dude. I feel like law would be more fun if they was in suspension of some kind. Midway punishment that isn't just game. They do have that. They do have that. I've seen I've seen law being suspended, and Boyd himself has been like taken off duty for being drunk. He's been like told to get off duty. Heaps of people got suspended. People have gotten people have gotten fired. People have gotten suspended. I I don't know what you mean by that. Even Malone got suspended. Yeah, he got. People don't. Pe do people forget? Even Sheriff Malone got suspended for smacking Tai Pan in the head well, while they were cuffed. He got suspended for it. Sanctum's been suspended three times. Yeah, I remember what's his name got suspended as well. Um what are you McGregor. Thinking? You thinking a little heist or something or something big or something? Small? I, knew, I knew you were I know that you're like it well I want her, but the thing is I don't know. I'm worried. Now these motherfuckers here are they they're obviously investigating this shootout, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when have we ever cared? Ah, uh, we do until we do until we get caught, man. That's the way we've always done it. That's not. That's not the way we've always done it at all. What the fuck are you talking about? That's the it way. Is, they, that's why you've always done deals. it. That's why your ass is Lucy Goosey. Always in fucking Excuse Sissica. Me? You heard me. All right. All right. I'm at the telegrams. You want to see what's under the boardwalk? I'll I'm still tight. <laughs> I'll show you what's under the boardwalk. I'll show you what's swimming there. It ain't the fucking tuna, right, anyway. It's right, not right, the right. fucking tuna, anyway, you bastard. All you right. think you can do all this? Eh? Oh, yeah, there all we right. go. There we go. There, there you go. go. Kick me. There kick me. Go. Kick me then. All right. Yeah, kick me. You're a good guy, huh? Good you guy. Want to be fucking choke me from behind, you buffhead. Huh? Don't like the consequences. Stop. Oh, sorry. Stop. Fucking stop. Look what you're doing. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Take your beatings like a man. All right. What'd they say? But there is still an open investigation. Right. And 
They'll contact me if I'm wanted. Huh. I got myself a telegram I gotta check. We're gonna get to the slaughterhouse and meet up with Mills. Also, I think I saw the box of bananas to him without having the bananas, so I need to go pick bananas at some point. Alright. Because that's $250. I'll tell you what, we, one last thing I'll say with Law. You kicked me. No, I didn't. I didn't. I. S Are you really gonna go with that? Just say you're sorry. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to kick you. I, 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 no, just say it like you mean it. No, you're trying to make me apologize like I meant to do it. No, say say you're sorry. I like am you sorry, mean it. but I didn't mean to kick you. Okay. I'd believe you if you actually sounded like you meant it. Well, I did mean it. Okay, why do you sound so upset with me, though? Because I just got punched in the fucking face. I'm not upset with yeah, you, I'm just I'm upset not, in general. Okay, Doesn't I'm make me any less okay. meaningful. I'm... You'll have to shout at me because you're upset with Eddie. Why are you walking for? Do you have a telegram? Uh, no. It's called keeping you company. It's fucking on this broad. Can we go past the doctors? Is he all right? Well, I haven't been given any pain killer. Okay, all We're right, all. Don't yell at me because you're angry. Elfwin, how dare you not be online? Fucking hate you. You want me to miss it? No. Okay. Hey, Doc. Hey, can you look at my my girlfriend? She's got injured yesterday. She might need some painkillers, but not morphine. Okay, I got come on in. Shot a lot yesterday, but they didn't give me any painkillers. As I'm gonna say, uh, one thing I'll I'll leave it at this with law. Law is held to such a high standard that they got to be ten out of ten perfect all the time. Otherwise, they get criticized of corruption, they get criticized of favoritism, they get criticized of uh, targeting, all that shit. Whereas everyone else on the server don't get held to the same standard. I think it's a little unfair. Just like real life, but this is not real life. People are trying to have fun role playing. They don't need to be harassed and like accused of shit. This is not real life. They're trying to. They, they're trying to have as much fun as any everybody else. I wish Law could be more violent, dude. If that happened, if that happened, people would be freaking the fuck out. Look what happened the other day in Saint Denis. People are freaking out. It's like a whole fucking controversy. You motherfucker. You know what? Was that Pete? Why the fuck did you hit me? All right, motherfucker. It was an accident, believe it or not. Yeah, all right. I'll choose to believe you. <laughs> what? I would fuck you up. Okay, just letting you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, damn. <laughs> you know that feeling when you've been sitting down for a long time and you get up suddenly? Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been feeling like that for about 20 minutes now. Are you all right? You're starting to worry me. Wait, yeah, why don't you take a sit down, Pete? Lay off the fucking No, I'm tight good. Thing. I'm good. I'm good. Not if you, you feel like me. You don't need to worry. Okay. Tell the fan. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, you don't gotta tell me twice. I think he wants to be more like one of the guys. Show him love. Who, Pete? He's one of the guys. On the other hand, I do think that some lore characters have only one aim to catch the crims. Yeah. So. That's the job, isn't it? <laughs> that's their job. While they're on the job, if that's if that's if that's their focus on the job, to catch the crims, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I don't see a problem with a, a lawman wanting to catch criminals. Is that a problem? I think that sometimes it kills the RP. How? That. Wait a minute. What kills the RP? A lawman trying to get an arrest? Can you give me an example, Great Britain? I just want to. I, I'm not. I'm not being hostile. I mean, I'm. I'm genuinely curious. Like, I want a situation. If you can give me one. By the way. Yeah. My eavesdropping mission went well. It didn't go very well at all. But you hear nothing. No. Like, literally nothing. And they take it too seriously. They can't allow RP to play. That's with... Okay, this is the fuck... This is what I mean. Lore is held to this standard no, no. of some of them only want to get arrests, but we don't acknowledge that there's an outlaws out there that I'm all they want to do is get away, no matter what. Fuck. But that's okay, but law, like, like, this is not a law she specific problem. See. This is a server wide problem that there's people on the server that want to win, whether it's law or whether it's outlaw. There's people in general that want to win. It's not just specific to one group. Go that's what I'm saying. Down, it's a broad thing. For, for every lawman that wants to just get an arrest and wants to win, there is an outlaw that just wants to get away and that will smash their fucking headset or their fucking keyboard as soon as they get down or fucking caught. It's everywhere. But only one, one group gets, you know... You know, only one group is uh, focused on with that. Law's great, but it sucks when creative ideas get shut down quickly just to make an arrest. Elephant, I've had that experience with everyone on the server. I've had it on Boyd. I've, really I've had it on Baz. Talk. I've had it on Wallaby. I've had it against it's Law. I've had it against Not Law. I've had it against Medics. I've had it against Rangers. Everybody. There's been situations where I have a creative idea and it doesn't work out. It's just how it is. It's Unfortunately, that's just roleplay. It's mean, fluid. You, it's like water. Nothing... About? You just have to try you to adapt what? as best you can. Yeah, you're right. I don't. I don't. I don't know. <clears throat> there's been, there's, there's been scenes with, like, with 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 law that I wanted to have with like outlaws, the and then the outlaws just fan, Sometimes or they just silent. they just run, or whatever the fuck, or it's you best. get an arrest, and then they they you know you got a cool thing going with the person you arrest, and they come in with a hostage or an oil tanker. It's whatever. Shit happens, you know. Yeah. Wanna be? Yeah. The silence, the silence just got a just got a telegram from Delaney. Said he's around right now. Perfect. Pete, with me. Come here. <laughs> there we go. Oh! I just kicked the shit out of your horse. Next time it's gonna be you. You understand? <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank God you didn't cause a scene. For fuck's sake. All right, Delaney's around. 
Oh, for God. So guess sake. what? Wakey, wakey, Petey. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no. You're you going on a little side quest. No, I don't. No. <laughs> Can't. You've got one I hour. Can't. Come on, Pete. Wake up. I can't. Wake up. I can't wake go up, on Pete. a side quest. Wait. Side quest. Side quest. No. Let me hear you. I sold another box of My arms. <laughs> Come on, smoke uh, that yes, weed. Come uh, on, smoke a, that uh, weed. Telegram from Come Delaney on, Pete. Smoke that, that weed. Right Come now. on, smoke that weed. Get that energy in you. Listen. Yeah. Listen. I'm listening. I didn't expect this. <laughs> You gotta help. You gotta, you gotta it. help Charles. Charles needs your help. I've I've smoked like a quarter ounce of goddamn weed. Um, well, I'll guarantee you, if place. I go myself, I'm gonna get shot by them. Oh, for God! No. There you oh, go, great. Pete. Thank you. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> really appreciate there it. There you go. Wakey, Pete. wakey. I love the pressure. That's no, it's great. okay, Pete. I'll get shot. Great. That's fine. You go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Shut that's right. Just let sleep Charles well. get shot, Pete. No, wow. Sleep, sleep well, Pete. You have a nice slit. You want you want a little. You want, you want me to fluff your pillow for you? <laughs> like you do these? No, I don't <laughs> no it's that. okay, Pete. I, w I hope you have a good sleep. Are you, are you going with All him? Right. Are, you, are you going with him, Pete? No, it's okay. I'll I'll, I'll go by Cause, myself. Because you're not going nice with him, I'll have, to, I'll have to I rearrange. <laughs> <hate you. laughs> Come on, Pete. You can do it. Get yourself a coffee. Sober up. Let's go. It's too late for that, motherfucker. <laughs> it's too late. So are you in or you're out? I, I, I think I'm out. I think I'm out. Uh, Eddie? Yep. You up for a job? Whatever you need me, boss. Alright. Do I tell him to meet us at the Braithwaite Manor or something? Fuck. I'm I really wanted Pete involved in this. <laughs> what? what is it? Because he's gonna know who Eddie is. I got a telegram from Delaney saying he's awake now. Oh, this is fuck you. He thinks my name is Tim looking for gems. If he sees me, he'll know it's me. If he Yeah, I know, he, I know, I know, I know. He doesn't know you, you could do this, we could we could get it done without any connection to us and get paid for it. You, you really you, only you have just one rob job it's to a, do. It's a, it's a yeah, snatch but... and grab. Just go in there, rob the fucking guy, Dang drop it. off the shit at the slaughterhouse, and then go to sleep. Come on, smoke that weed. Come on, smoke. Eddie, sing it. Come on. But it ain't that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, smoke that weed. Yeah, the, yeah yes. Pete, I know exactly what you're going through better than you know, okay? I know exactly what you're going through right now. What I'm telling you is, is I don't care. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Love you, love you, Pete. All right, Charles, take Pete with you. You, you can get it done quick. Just do it quick. Just do it quick, Pete. All right. <laughs> All right, slaughterhouse. Come on, Pigsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? I sold two boxes of, of bananas. I know. That's, I'm like... so... That's how much money did you make? Two hundred. Uh, two hundred. Well, two fifty for the first one, and two hundred for the other one. So that's four fifty. Holy sh! You know what? I was down this banana business, but you might be on to something. Yeah, I have to go pick <laughs> bananas now, though. He's a bro, man. Peer pressure, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Davey, but I just I, I just love Pete so much, and I feel like I bullied him. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, as I'll say, I mean that that that's that's a server-wide problem, man. There's people that want to win, you know. That's not that's. Of course, there's lawmen that want to win, but there's there's just as many, or probably more outlaws, because there's more outlaws than. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> Is that you? Pe Penelope, what are you doing? I'm roaming the Great Plains. What? And why are you roaming right in fuck in front of us? I didn't see you. I was having a moment. Having a moment. How are you doing? I'm doing the best I can. Pigs, this is Penelope. You, you mad? Yeah, I, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm, I'm, trying I'm trying to grow it out at the moment. Ah. Oh. I just got out of jail. They took my gun, and I'm definitely never getting it back.
When outlaws lose, there's actual consequences, though. Why do you look like that? You look so weird. I'll say one fucking thing, and I'm going to drop this for the rest of the fucking day. You know what you look like? I'm going to say it. There's more lawmen that have permitted over the last two months than outlaws have in the last six. So shut the fuck up with that bullshit. All right, we, 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 got, we got things we got to fucking do. You, you can ride with us. Come on. The law don't have consequences. Have fucking kidding me? Every time they piss off a lawman, they're getting fucking kidnapped and tortured and branded no. and killed. Oh, Fuck me, man. This anti law thing has to no, die, sorry. bro. It has to die. We're all on the same fucking oh. team here, man. We're all trying to role play, we're all trying to have a good time. Ripley fell off a fucking balloon, man! She became a red stain! What? Oh, okay, she's talking to him. Yeah, he didn't respond to Pam. And, and, and I'm not trying to say that outlaws don't perma. My point is, is that there are consequences for all fucking up. I was getting a lot of painkillers. And... To say there's not, I, I can't Give believe what I'm hearing, man. Grape seed extracting. And then some jars with pills that I need to take away. Oh, I need to take the pills. There's heaps to come to the balloon full, man. What's him? Oh. from each jar every morning for four days. Okay. Uh, well, make sure you do that. I'm sorry for even bringing it up. This convo is off the rails. It, it, it's really not uni. I'm, 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 I'm not as mad as I... This is just how I talk, bro. I'm very passionate about what I say. I'm not actually mad or anything. I'm just... I just think Lord deserves scary. a fair shake and I think there's a very one-sided... Um, uh, point of view because most people that watch streamers no. watch from the outlaw PO POV and I, I think I, I just think law RPs are done a little they treat a little too harshly you know a, a little too harshly and I, I just I'm passionate about that because I've be, I've done this man when I was playing Baz, I, there was moments where I got frustrated with law and I said a lot of things and when I experienced the other side of it, I got a, a, a clearer picture of the overall, like how it works on the server. And I felt really bad about some of the shit I said. But, but, but don't, don't take my, my passion for the subject as being angry with you. You're obviously open to your own opinion on the situation I am sure but I, th I, I, but I think I think I just think law are very harshly done by yeah. especially OOC I think they criticize far greater than anybody else hey, I'm speaking of now I need to get a new gun I've gone frustrated with law while on law 100% man yeah like I said people make mistakes on both sides I make mistakes yeah. all the fucking time do you know how many DMs I've sent like, nearly every other stream, I'm DMing somebody and being like, Oh, I'm fucking sorry how I did this or said that. You know, I, I fuck up all the time, man. Everyone does. Difference is, when I fuck up, people are usually, like, in my chat being like, Cool, cool, that's, you know, it's, that was a cool scene or blah, blah, blah. Whereas if a lawman fucks up, they get chat hoppers who are like, Oh, this is corruption. Why are you doing this? Why It's like... I don't get criticized nearly as much when I fuck up, you know? Am I? I don't really do that. Uh, if you want to post a clip, Ice Rook, you got to ask a mod or put it in the Discord clip section. Have not seen JoJo. I heard she died, but I don't think she's dead. 
We also don't know about LJ. Nice. Every time Law recognizes Baz's far lap. Oh, don't get me started, man. But I'm gonna be a cockroach. I'll try. I'll try and remember to watch the town clip, man. Cock knife. Imagine. Ah, uh, there she is. Don't cock tell us. I, I think I, I, I was not even listening to that conversation. I just heard cock knife and I've heard enough. Please stop. Baz had an army of Shark eyewitnesses roach. following him around. To be honest with you, man. Like we weren't very conspicuous with, like uh, nice with Baz, were we? I mean, let's be honest. Even with the changed clothing, Baz's head was very recognizable. And everyone on the server knew him. Like, everyone knew Baz. Sharp Roach. I think I prefer Sharp Roach for some reason. <laughs> Back then, I just wanted to get away with a bank robbery, man. I, I just wanted to get away with a bank robbery. And I got frustrated when I got caught. Yeah, Baz was my first character on Wild. Sometimes we call him Jochucho because female Jojo exists, but I hate her, so I think he's even. And plus, I think that I think that bank robbery is during the thirty-two slot days, right? Pretty sure it was during the thirty-two slot days. You don't get as mad as you did at the beginning when you got caught. Oh, I you were totally it's cringy, man. I, I go back and watch Baz and watch myself get frustrated about getting oh, caught, no. man. I cringe. I, I, I still get emotional sometimes. Like, like there's this normal... I've spoken about this before. But when you get into a gunfight, I think you get... Um, well, you get you get like adrenaline spiked, right? Like you, your hands cut. You, your hands start shaking and shit. It's like... Wait, you, you know the feeling when you get in that adrenaline rush. So, when that happens, all your senses are heightened, right? So, when you do get into that moment where you're in a gunfight and your adrenaline's fucking pumping, your heart's fucking beating, and then it all of a sudden gets cut short and you're, you're down at the very start of the fight, that adrenaline can transfer into frustration. And that still can happen. Um... It's happened to me even recently. I can't remember when it happened, but it does. But then you, you got to take a minute, just like, you got to calm down. Just like breathe and don't fucking talk is my big mistake is that I shouldn't talk. <laughs> so I can't blame anyone for that. You know, that, that happens. That, 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 that frustration. It's like when you drive a car on the highway. That's why people on the road are so angry that's why you get road rage you got people that aren't usually angry all the time but on the road they're fucking psychos because their senses are heightened everything's heightened because they're looking at all the dangers that could potentially be there so when something little happens they'll get frustrated faster because their senses are heightened you know I want to whistle and I get inside for Mills. I miss Mills, man. I, was looking for you. I haven't seen Mills in so long. I did. I saw him today. He saves me for last, huh? I robbed him. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>
Howdy. One. Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm alright. How about you? It's been a I'm while. Not too bad, as I was just telling this peaches here. I oh, was, I I was expecting um, someone else to be here. But who was that? Just an old friend, Mills. Mills? Yeah. I don't know him by that name has been by since I've been here, but I've not been here that long. They ain't been by yet. No. Eddie, how are you? Oh, can't complain, sir. It's uh, always nice seeing you again. Uh, you know, we're kind of hoping we get to work with you a little bit more, you know, given the circumstances. Oh, yes, I hope so, too. Very soon, now that I hear other problems have been eliminated. Oh, yeah. What the heck is this old man? Just... We believe that, um, Put a you smile know, on him, just nod and... Certain things, uh... Be nice. If we can prove ourselves, uh, then I believe certain things won't be necessary. And I hope you can see that. Yeah, I wasn't worried about you and all this, Eddie. It was the yeah. others. Of course, of course. But, uh... We work as a team, and... Uh, uh, we as as I was saying, I've heard you. your LJ problem is over. Glad that got sped up a little bit now, wasn't it? Yeah, it sure got sped up. It did. I spoke to him the other day. I see it had quite an effect on him as well. Yeah. We don't know if he's alive or dead. But he won't be around here for a while regardless. Yeah, I know someone believes he is dead, but... Whether or not that's true, I don't know. Who is that? It doesn't matter, never you mind. Apparently it was quite the scene outside of the medical office yesterday. Yeah, a few people got hurt. I... Oh, but the problem is gone, correct? That is an excellent result. Yeah, we're and done with it. Yeah, still breathing. We're all alive. We are. We dealt with him. Yes, I heard. Daddy, I'm sure you're happy this thing is settled sooner than later. I know you were, all, you know, chomping at the bit to get it over with. Right, um, I think it was handled, uh, appropriately, and, uh, of course. It was appropriate for what he'd done. Who is this young lady here? Yes. Hello there. My name is Penelope. Penelope Kringle. No, oh, Miss Penelope Kringle, how are you? I am amazing, how are you? Are you friends with these young people here? Yeah! She's, I'd say so. She's, um... Yeah, a friend of the group. <laughs> yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Husky. Husky? You're not very husky. You're very perceptive. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Penelope. Penelope Crinkle. I'm from New Orleans. Oh, thank you for those extraneous details. You're welcome. Maybe you know where my doctor is. I'm afraid I don't. You what know, is his name? Dr. Orvid? No, I can't say I do. Hmm. Oh, well. I, uh, have some big plans ahead now that you are freed up? We have some business going on right now, and <clears throat> we made some money the other day. Things are going... Swimmingly. Excellent. Then you should be ready to leave sooner than later. I'm a great swimmer. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, have a private word with you. 
Doing all right. I'm not leaving until you tell me to. Would you mind? Okay. Thank you. I would like to speak to you, Mr. Eddie, as well at some point. Sure. All right, thank you. She actually left you alone. I'm surprised. You met with LJ? I did. You know, shooting him was not part of the plan. Wasn't it? I thought it was, we're not going to hurt anybody else. We're just going to divide and conquer, that sort of thing, and then take care of LJ. And it was working. But you gave him the one thing that you knew would get under my skin. Why? He needed to be speeded along. He had to pay for what he did. Quite easy. He was uh, definitely something wrong with him. Very susceptible to this sort of suggestion. Also, I needed a couple of questions answered that uh, your friends refused to be honest with me about. But he was very forthcoming. Yeah. I bet he thought you were his friend, huh? Oh, no, no. He had brought a number of people there, but he did go speak to me alone. He did, I did tell him the truth. I said I would like you to come with me, and he was uh, all for that. I asked him a question, and then he, uh, I told him a couple other things about how he shouldn't trust anybody in his group and that sort of thing. You know, nonsense. I was doing it my way. This well, my schedule doesn't accommodate your way. Are you bothered that you shot him? I don't know how. Did he I shoot think. you? Yeah. Did he betray you? Yeah. Are you going to tell me you feel guilt about shooting this man? If you're upset because it was your plan and I stepped in, that's one thing. But don't try to tell me you feel guilty about shooting him. He used to be my friend. Richie, I have heard all sorts of things now of what kind, what have you been up to here? Dragging people behind horses, kicking women till they're near dead. All sorts of violent things you've been doing. If you're going to tell me now you're feeling remorse. Apparently, when he was going to leave, you kicked a woman, quite brutally. It's not fun when people leave, is it? I'm not saying are you, you know, but don't try to tell me. Don't give me a sob story about how you regret this now. If you're just upset because I stepped in and, and ended this quicker than you'd like, that's one thing, and I, that's for sure. Nobody forced you to shoot him. If you can't control your anger, well, I definitely believe that. I just wanted to keep everybody safe. You keep saying that. They all look fine to me. Who did you tell? Who did I tell what? About our business. What do you mean? You mean all the things I know about you? Flood and all the people you have dealings with? 
I'm sure you understand if I tell you it ruins the whole leverage that I have. And I am no longer safe. You don't trust me? No, I trust you, but I do not trust your friends. They clearly proved to me quite immediately that I can't trust them at all. You can trust me, I won't tell them. No, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe you won't go out there and that little blonde woman will start whining and complaining and you'll tell her whatever she wants to know just to get her to shut up. She clearly told some people other things that you didn't even want them to know. When do you want to leave? Um, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, yes. I want you to be honest with me. Do you have any intention of going with me? I told you I'd go. That is not what I asked. I said, do you have any intention of actually leaving? Now, if you do, all your friends here will have no more trouble. Any business they wish to continue conducting. Well, I'll be honest. I have no faith that any of them can operate without you. Perhaps Mr. Eddy. But not the rest of them. They'll probably go back to whatever two-bit crimes they were committing before. I'm sure Mr. Morgan will go uh, bankrupt from haircuts and outfits without actually committing any successful crimes. But they'll be free to do their own thing. And you can go start all over again, make a bigger name for yourself internationally. So please, do be honest. Do you have any intention of going? I have alternatives, if not. What alternatives to that? Well, it depends on your answer. I said I'd come with you, I'm going with you. All right. I will finalize the tickets for Sunday. But if you change your mind, as I said, I do have an alternative. I want to know what that is. You will give me $20,000 and I will leave. $20,000. $20,000. Come now, I know you must have something saved up if this uh, who you hold money is a big deal. It's enough to keep me safe from your friends. And even if it's not as much as you have, well, you're the dead end gang, the wallaby kid. I'm sure you can make something work. Fill in the rest. I wouldn't do it if I didn't need it. And I need it. Quite badly. Yeah. As I said, things weren't going so well for me. But this will turn them around in lieu of your presence. I personally think you're worth a great deal more. Sunday. Yes, Sunday. I'll get you a time specifically for the boat. We must be ready at least an hour beforehand. And if you do wish to give me the money, well, of course, we'll have to... I'll have to make arrangements to transport it and that sort of thing, protection and all that. All right. But do let me know what you decide. I'm... Uh, hopefully by Friday, so I can make proper arrangements. All right. I do prefer that you go with me, Richie. Yeah, we I have know. a lot of lost time, and I... I must say, you are teaching me quite the lesson here. Now, I have always been the mind, you know, much like you and the others, uh, that when you're recruiting for a gang, you should find, go for aptitude and skill and that sort of thing. Uh, but you appear to have just gone for complete dullards 
who will uh, listen to whatever you say. Aside from Mr. Eddie. And it has worked out quite well for you. They are so unflinchingly loyal. And completely unaware of how they may be being manipulated. <laughs> Manipulator. No, please. talk to Eddie now. I would, I would. Do you mind sending him in here? Do you want me in here with you? No, no, you can go out there, tell your friends, talk to them for a while. I think I see Miss Penny just arrived as well. I'll bring him in. Well, thank you very much. Rangers again. Hey. That's where the doctor left me. Mm. Hello. He, want, he wants to talk to you. What's going on here? Hold on. Yeah, tell him. Tell me what? I think I know who his, inf his informant Scout. is. Scout. I know. That's what I'm trying to... This isn't... Just give, give us a minute. I, I'm talking to you! What? He told you? No. He knows about outside the doctor's office. He knows about the fucking shooting. She and might be the one that knows about the fucking money and shit. Wait, 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 wait. Pete, just go and tell him. So, I'm gonna confirm it myself, but yesterday the doctors told me and her that LJ was dead. He just said that some people believe that he's dead and knew all about the other stuff. LJ's people, I've seen Charlie, and I've talked to Eli. I don't think either of them would have talked to him, or else he wouldn't be surprised that LJ is dead. The others are indisposed. Still healing. This one with the hat to my right. She don't, knows I told her. Don't. Okay. okay. She's with him. Yeah, I want to stab her. No, you're not doing don't, anything. Don't, 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 don't. I know, I'm not going to. I'm He's just putting it. He's given me an ultimatum. I go within this Sunday, or I pay him 20... Excuse the fuck out of you. Or I pay $20,000 and he leaves. What's to stop me from going in there and grabbing my mouse and shooting him right Because, now? do you want to go kill Scout without fucking knowing for sure? Because if it's not fucking Scout, we are fucked and so is Flood. I'm going to... I, I don't know how she would have known about the money with Flood. No, he would have told her. He says he's got a contingency plan that if he dies or gets put in fucking jail, someone that he knows will tell the law everything about us, our jobs, our money, Flood, all of it. You need to find out if that is fucking Scout. I will find out immediately because that is a yeah, she Please. she is more loyal to me than to him. Are you fucking sure about that? I am a hundred percent sure. She. You need to be very fucking discreet. Do not underestimate this man. Please. Because he could he could have hooks in her that you wouldn't even fucking know. Be discreet. Well, be very fucking careful. If she is the one, he loses all fucking power. You okay. gotta be fucking careful. I'll, I'll be careful. I'll. I know that. Everyone under underestimates him. Uh, you man. know what? I, I'm gonna go to her dad first because her dad is loyal to me because my mother made him promise some things. So I know for sure that he would never betray me and has nothing to do with Husky. So between the two of us, we'll figure it out. What if there's another person, though? That's what, well, that's what I'm talking about. We've got to be very fucking careful. It's never okay. cut and dry with him. It's never cut or dry. He has plans. He's always ahead. So we've got okay. to be very fucking careful. You need to assume that everything you fucking say to Scout is going to be heard by him. Okay. Please well, be careful. Well, it's just say it's not that girl. 
It... Actually, that's true. She, he could have found out that information and then just said to Penny, if I die, get this out there. It doesn't have to be Scout. That's, well, that's what I'm talking about. We gotta be fucking careful. Why don't we just kill them both? Can we cut wanna... pigtails off? Kill who both? What, Scout? No, not Scout. I'm, I'm saying I think what it's the... Penny. No, you don't Penny, know it's fucking Penny. Penny. No, 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 I'm saying Penny is probably the one who's going to snitch. All right, all right. If so you, he dies. You, you, you kill Penny, you kill him, then then what? Hmm? What if it's not Penny? You just fucking killed her? I don't like her. Well, I don't fucking care if you don't like her. You ain't fucking killing her. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna talk to Scout. Hopefully okay, it's Scout who he made the deal with, but I doubt it. I doubt he'd be that dumb. Um, regardless, uh, I'll I'll figure it out. Just be careful. Step at a time. Yeah. Um, we don't say anything in front of fucking Penny. We don't say nothing in front of anyone. Alvin as well. No one. Okay. Can someone fill me in on what the fuck's going on? Oh, yeah. Would you like a fucking whole goddamn run through right now? Husky's right over there. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Talking to Edwin. Yes, he's talking to fucking Edwin. You're all cut up, fella. How'd you go? Done. You did it? I got his, uh, I got a gun and a tomahawk, some knife, and he had his little pouch. I don't know. Just anything I could grab you on him, his basically. Money. I've already oh, told. Goodness. He had no fucking money on him. That's fine. Okay. Did you tell Grammy Peaches? Yeah. Did, uh, oh, did Pete do all right? He, yeah. No, yeah. Pete went to sleep. I did it by myself. I found him in the general store, and I... Roped him up and then took his shit. For fuck's sake. Okay, all right. What? We'll go see the Dechances after this, okay? All right. He seems to have a feeling that um, it was because of the Dechances, so I don't give a fuck anyway. That's fine, as long as it's on them, not on us. You might want to get dressed, though. No, no. He um, knows who I am. The clerk said, hello, Mr. Morgan, but I think he thinks I'm the other Morgan. Okay, good. Also, I don't know if it's the time right now, but I did get more information about, um, Charlie. Or N Nelly. Yeah, what about him? Um, so... Hold on, I'm just Dude, it gets so intense when Husky shows um, up, man. Do you guys so feel I think it? people must have been getting the other Charlie and him confused. Um, he doesn't <laughs> run with LJ, but... According to Alvin, they're not actually that close, and he doesn't... Alvin doesn't trust Charlie because Charlie huh. or N Nelly is very violent. I am so fucking confused as to what the fuck's going on. There's two fucking Charlies. One is with LJ, one's not with LJ. You t Alvin said that he's friends with Charlie, but now he's not friends with Charlie. I think he says he's friends with that Charlie just because he's around, but once he's not around, he's like, I don't want that sick fucker around me. Well, he didn't say that. He said that he just scares him. Nelly scares well, the, Yeah, the first thing that Charlie said to me is that he maims people. One thing at a time. Fuck Charlie. Yeah. Right? Fuck him. I, I don't think it's that important at the moment. I feel like this might be more important. Can you, can you slip out now and go find Scout? I really fucking need to see Alice and Mills, but I, I'll tell... I thought they were if, coming here. You told us they were going to come here. I know. Here. They were supposed to come here. That's why I'm here. I'm... I'm... Well, get the fuck out of here and go find them then. Well, fine. Fucking Christ. If, if they do come here, tell them to telegram me. I don't know. Bye. 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 Fucking mind. We might have. We might know who his friend is with the information. Maybe. Was he talking to Eddie about? I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah, well, I don't like any of this. What's he doing? He's standing there putting his jacket on, looks like he's leaving. That was information overload. <laughs> yeah, Wallaby just said that. I can't, I can't deal with the Charlie thing right now. What if LJ was the rat and Husky okay, sage and faked his death? Dude, I don't, I don't fucking know what's going on, man. 
Patty Austin for 11 months, man. Hold on. Yeah, I'll be right back. What was that about? Was Smokey streaming? You made a deal with him? Either he, either he takes you, Penelope, get the fuck out of this room. What? Scram! <sighs> Question of so fucking What? Either you leave, or he takes twenty thousand dollars. I didn't cut no fucking deal, Eddie. If you don't leave, he's taking twenty thousand dollars. That's what he wants. Yeah. Poor Penelope. Yeah, I know, but she's not part of the inner sanctum, man. It's a bit hard, isn't it? I want to hear. None of that happens. He gives up the information. And our money's kaputs. Listen, listen. We, we might know. This son of a bitch has us on the back foot here, and we have until Friday. He said Friday. He demands an answer by you on Friday know. to know if know. you are leaving on Sunday. I know. Jesus Christ! What does he have on us? Oh, fuck. He has everything, Charles! What's everything, Eddie? Oh, my fucking God. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I really did not mean to do that. Well, but you really put your point out there. He has... Have you not been... Have you not been here through these fucking but conversations? But when I asked him... When flying? I asked him, he had nothing on me at all. Oh, well, that's fucking he's coming, good. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Stop. All right, Miss Penny and I are going to attend a meeting. Uh, I will have a couple errands to run, but uh, you send me a telegram if you need anything. Yes, sir. All right. See you all very soon. Remember Friday, I must know. Sir. Hmm? Oh, yeah. What time on Friday do you want me to get back to you? Uh, I'd say 7 p.m. Eastern time. 7 p.m. Eastern. Does that sound fair? I'll be here. All right. All right, you want send to meet a telegram. Here? We'll meet here. All right, we'll send it. We'll meet here. Try not, try not to be terribly wanted. Don't you need me for anything? Some fucking time, Alvin. He has so much on us. You have no fucking idea. He said he had a few meetings. He had to go to Hussey meeting. I don't fucking know. Eddie. So have him stopped. Ed well, I know. Ed Eddie. Remember what I told you the fucking the idea, the plan? Eddie. Too late. I mean, it's too, too fucking late. You can go fucking Charlie. What, what, what plan? What plan? What plan? What plan? What plan, what plan do we have? The time limit keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Hey, hey we spoke about this. You can fucking Eddie. follow him. Let us just what? Over and bam to you can. Him. He says he's got some means to attend to. You can follow him. We spoke about this. We gotta think of a, we gotta think of a strategy. We gotta think of a strategy. We gotta think of a decent fucking strategy here. All you're doing is delaying us. Then if you want to act, Missy, please act. Because all yeah, you've been doing these past couple of days have been whining. Crying and whining. That's all you've been doing for the past fucking weeks. And we've been under fire. He's already gone, dude. 
No, I think you forget. I think you forget time to time. Wounds that got literally tweeted yesterday. Don't know that. The whole idea of moving that money is a waste of fucking time. Friday's not enough fucking time to move anything. The idea of transferring little by little, not gonna work. As soon as he tells Law, if he does, tell Law that Flood has been our bank for years and he's holding God knows how much money is stolen. Law will take the loan. It doesn't matter if he's got fucking a thousand accounts. They will shut his ass down and they will put him behind bars until they figure it out. Bury the money. Bury the money. Oh, kill Husky. We just, that snitch? We'll find out who the snitch is. We, just, we went over this. Too. We can't withdraw over $40,000 without anyone fucking noticing. If he's got 50 accounts, he's going to go to the fucking bank and ask to withdraw 2000 from every fucking account. They will alert the law. This isn't five thousand dollars. This is forty grand. This is more money than banks even fucking hold. He's got two days, and not everything has to come out. Our only fucking. I'm not. I'm not worried about the fucking money. All right. The money. I can make fucking money. Do we not care about flood? Even if they okay. take the money out, You're he's not getting. Listening. No, even if he has no fucking money in his accounts, he will have history of withdrawal. He will go to jail. He'll lose his fucking business. Regardless of if we get the fucking right. money out. If we we're to get if we're gonna give him twenty thousand, how long will that take to get out? Can we get it out? I might have to go with him. Shit about the money, I'm then we'll just deny, deny, deny. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Deny, deny, deny. Banks keep receipts. They keep Log books. Okay. Deny what? How is Flood going to deny? His fingerprints are all over it. He hasn't been dealing with us for a week. He's been taking our money for years, Higsy. I am I might have to go with him. Excuse the fuck out of you. No. No, it's not an option. I might have to just to buy us time. I don't know. What's the fuck we gonna do? That's my mouse off. No! That's what I'm fucking talking You're not going. Oh my fucking god. Does anyone need a checkup? I'm just I just figured I'd swing by and check. Mm -hmm. I'm good, thank you. The only hope we have is Thank if you. Peaches can find out if it'll scout or not. That's the only thing we've got. We just gotta hope that's who it is. And that she can put an end to it. If she can put an end to Scout and her bullshit, if she knows, then he loses everything. You know what I'm thinking? What? I'm thinking that Penny Girl. The one that came in here, not Penelope, his penny girl. The one with the hat and the pigtails. I think she's a decoy. I think you brought he her yeah. here so that we would think it's her. Yeah. Go after yes. her. And then he still has his person. Yeah. He wouldn't he wouldn't bring her here if she was the real one. It's, it's a too decoy. it's too obvious. Mm-hmm. But I've seen her around Valentine. We're gonna think it's her. All right, he's listen, 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 listen. He he might be in a deceptively weak position. He, he's rushing us on Friday. He wants to get out of this situation. Make a good point. Why? Why is he in such a hurry? Maybe he found out that Peaches is close to Scout. I don't know. 
I know why he's Russian. Why? Because he knows half this gang wants to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. And they say and they, they say it openly. Well, that's already happened now, okay? Nothing we can fucking do about it now. What are you good at walking people up, way? Why don't we walk him up? He Did said that, if, but he said, and he said if any, he said that if he goes missing or if he goes to jail or whatever the fuck, that the person will take and, and uh, give the information. We got to be certain that it's Scout and Scout alone. Otherwise, we can't make a fucking move on him. I mean, it could be anybody. Yeah, I fucking could. What did I say to you, Eddie? I feel bad for Alvin, man. That's what he said. Just that? He said, hopefully, I will be able to take over and we can make this transition nice and smooth on Sunday when Wallaby goes with me. But if why that isn't he, the decision... Why would he tell you that, though? What is the reason for, for saying that to you? Well, I think he still wants to keep contact. Because I don't think he has any of our well-being in mind. He's saying it for some reason. What's his, what's his plan with that? Well, he says either we do a smooth transition where I take over and he goes with him or $20,000. And he's the rat? Which I thought... That'd be sick. Both was outrageous. I'd be sad, but it'd be a cool twist. Does he think he's you'd be something. more willing to give him money? He says... 20000 is a very interesting number, don't you think? Yeah. He knows the... Like he knows how much we have. He's taken almost exactly half. How the fuck would he find that out? It's not a random number. Someone who knows the number is fucking talking. So who knows the number? Just me, you, Pigsy, Charles, Pete, Flood. Speedy, but Speedy was in jail. Was he playing mind games with us? Making us want to think that another person in our group is some kind of husky sympathizer. So why are you looking at me for? <laughs> this is Could also be wants. a random number. He, this he is knows how many he robberies wants. you do. He wants us to separate. He wants us to disagree with each other. He wants us to not be strong together. Well, how do you know? Do you talk to him? No, but you clearly do. Exactly. And I can't get nothing out of him, so how do we know what he's thinking? Because at least I'm coming up with ideas of what he's trying to do. Well, you think I'm standing here with my finger in my ass? Well, you sure my, ain't speaking. My, my mind is running a minute. Did Penelope leave? I feel bad, man. We have a deadline. No, we, we, we can't be fighting over this. We gotta stay calm. Let Peaches do her fucking thing. Hopefully we find out sooner rather than later. Until then, we trust fucking no one outside the core group. No one. Understood? We got a fucking deadline now. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Alvin, you wanna go for a ride with us? Oh, yes, sir. Did you find Mills? Uh, they're on their way right now. Where'd Husky go? He's gone. 
had to go to some meetings. What do you want with Edwin? Huh? He just wanted to have a little chit chat. Now's not the time, right. teachers. Okay. Did you talk to Scout? Uh, they're not awake right now. Okay. Peaches, did you want to stay here with, uh... Hold on. I'm just going to St. Denis to drop off some of the stuff to Dicenzo's. Pigs, you want to stay with Peaches till Mills gets here? We'll be back in like 10. Yeah, I don't want to see any Dicenzo's. All right, we'll be back. All right, come on. You got the, the stuff? Chenzos as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could give the stuff to them. That's that's where we're going. Oh, I didn't know where we were fucking going. <laughs> Man! Does this story never end being so fucking intense? Jesus. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Come on. Friday, bro. <laughs> Fucking Davey, man, rides off and then logs out away from me. That son of a bitch. He must be really tired, man. I peer pressure the fuck out of him. <laughs> They're hailing me for a telegram as well. I did contact Effie. Alright. You thought it was a chill day till, till Husky? I, man, he kept I on trying to square it off with me like uh, it was part of the Dicenzos. I said, I'm sorry, sir. I just have a job to do. And... You know what we should do? We should do. We should. We should Friday? Should be a subathon day. I think it's gonna be a very interesting day, man. What day is it today? Today's Wednesday, two days? Okay. If I do that, I'll have tomorrow off. And then we'll do subathon Friday. Leave it with me. I'm not. Conf I'm not going to confirm. Let me think. Let me think on it. But that that could be a cool idea. This Friday might get crazy. Jesus. Yeah. Let's check telegrams first. I did a poll in my uh, Discord. DEG versus DEK and DEG won, man. By like double the votes. I was actually fucking shocked. Davey felt like he was letting you down, but he just couldn't commit. Oh, dude, no. Never, man. I was just fucking with him. I love, I love Davey so much. You have no idea. Husky. I'll be at the slaughterhouse. I'll be at the slaughterhouse. Husky just walked in. Slaughterhouse. Alvin in front. Charles, update. Pete did have to. Yep. I already have all that. And Penelope. Oh, oh, I feel bad. Sorry to leave. You're being so secretive. It was boring. <laughs> that Husky guy wanted to take me somewhere. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, shit. Penelope, you know, the, the pink Penelope. Yes. She left with Husky. Yeah, but he could have just paid her to come with him. Oh, I'm not, I'm not saying, no, she telegrammed me and said that because we're being so secretive, she went along with him. Oh. Just letting you know. But didn't she bag the wrong horse? It's not her fault. She might be able to tell us where he went. Mm -hmm. uh, Effie hasn't got back to me either. Don't know if she's awake. I'm hoping the big tensors are around, man. I'm 100% having tomorrow off, guys, okay? 
because it's been dude it's been fucking crazy we need we need a breather we need to reset our batteries it's been uh just consistently fucking crazy but the story is too good it's been great man it's been great i'm um I I don't know how we I don't know how we top this after this arc is over, bro. It's gonna be hard. But then again, we don't have to top it, right? It's a bit of a a terrible way to go into it. We haven't been to Guama yet. That is true. We haven't been to Guama. I've got a feeling the Chantos aren't going to be around, man. I just, it's, I just got one of those feelings. I'm not seeing many people in Saint Denis. Usually it's, it's popping here. It feels a little quiet to me. Could always perma. Hey, don't tempt me, man. I might perma on Friday. We don't know how it's going to go. Remember, this is all RP, man. It's all story. I don't know who the fuck this second person is. I got no idea. Don't know OOC neither. I'm fucking clueless. Husky might win this. I don't know. I hope not. The flood thing. I know I'm playing up the money the thing with flood. Like, we can't transfer money. I think it's better that way. I think it makes it better. It makes it more interesting. I think. I like being the underdog here. I don't think anybody's home. All right, wait here. Anybody home? Hello? All right. They're not here. Let's have a quick ride around the city. If we don't find them. Then just hold on to it, okay? Man, I wish um I messaged Trench. I'm like, dude, you should you should stream Husky. His response was that he thinks that not streaming him makes him more mysterious and it's better for you guys. So shout out to Trench Man. Putting putting the character and the ominous nature of the character over content, bro. What a champion, man. I don't think anyone's in this fucking city, dude. He's dead tonight. Oh, fight. You want to go in here? Yeah, sure. Trench is 100% legend, man. If, if the Cheddars aren't in here, then they're not around tonight. Do a Q&A with Trench when it's done. Oh man, we could do that for sure. We could do that for sure, man. After the arc is finished. You think Husky making, pushing Wallaby to shoot LJ was a mistake because it's changed Wallaby. His tone and voice around Husky changed. Yeah, yeah, man. Yep. That, that, that childhood trauma, that fear has been slipping away 
for sure over time. Wallaby's kind of getting back to where he where he was. Nothing Nobody find in here. Nobody? No one. Oh, fuck. This city's dead tonight. I don't know. Husky's got a nice guy. Wallaby sounds so sad whenever I bump into him. Only time my girls, I mean, one, when only one of my girls that would know is Angel. Wallaby. Yeah, I can, I can see that. I think Wallaby needs to go to an island. You reckon a tropical island? We'll do the LJ strat. All right then. Alvin, you really gotta stop showing up so late, you know that? Stop showing up late? Yeah, uh, you're always showing up late. It's like you've got a life and do other things. What the fuck? Telegram, see if anyone's here. What if Wallaby's a Cisco during the weekend? I don't think. Even if we get charged with the shootout, I don't think it's enough time to give me OOC. For? Vicenzo's. Obviously. Wow. That job. Remember when we talked about it with them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We did it. What do you reckon? One, one more time, Charles? Sorry, I can't hear you back there. I said one more time, do you think? Did we agree on t two or three times? O on what? On him. Delaney? What you did today. Stop fucking saying things out loud around the fucking sheriff's department office, alright? Well, they yeah. wanted it to be done once, but no, then there's they also wanted... Kitty and... Right, 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 okay. Kitty and his brother, and I can't seem to find them. Oh, he's the main one. Kitty's his girlfriend, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I know. I honestly don't know what they fucking look like either. Alright, fellas. I'm gonna be going to bed. Fucking tired. Alright. I'll be back. I might not be here tomorrow. So please do not get arrested tomorrow. Friday's gonna be important. Alright, sounds good. Alright, see you later. Oh, Mills. Is he here? Oh, we'll have to check out Mills first. If Mills is here, we'll talk to him. I know it's a shorter stream today, guys, but I wasn't even going to stream today. We'll check if Mills is here, though. Today, that's why the stream's called I Lied, because I wasn't going to stream today, but then I changed my mind. And I'll probably change my mind tomorrow. I'll probably be live as well. I lied, 2.0. <laughs> no, I just love streaming at the moment. Oh, they're here. I'm too good for her. Howdy. What the fuck? You don't telegram me that you're out? The fuck? 
Long time no see, kid. Yeah. yeah I'm... I've missed you. You should have fucking told me. I would have been there. I would have, like, helped pick you up or whatever. No, no, no. They, uh... Hi, Alice. They made sure none of that was gonna be happening. As a matter of fact, they dropped me off in the middle of the swamp, surrounded by gators. Yeah, they do they that, that nowadays. That was Who did that? Was a booker? And Big L himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what's been going on with you? Well, I was asking Missy just a little bit ago how often the deputies like to stop by here. Yeah, because man. they're not too happy with us right now because I gave one of the deputies a little taste of Sissica the other day. Mel's, you just fucking got out. You want to go back in? No, I got no plans of going back in. Uh, yeah, well, none of us do. You gotta be fucking careful. And don't worry, they're not gonna breach here. The last couple times, they've been a little bit nervous about uh, arresting folk here. Well, Abby, I need to go do my business before I go to sleep. All right. So I go pick some bananas. Okay. All right. I'll be in uh, bed shortly too myself. Okay. If you need to borrow my horse, feel free. No, so sorry. You, you should have telegrammed okay. me. You looking? Yeah. You looking for some work or something? You you're looking for some money? You need anything? No, no, no. I got everything I need up here. Are you sure? You're looking a little fucking worse for wear, Mills. Huh. I've never been better in my life, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, if 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 either of you need like anything, like you know, you let me know, right? Uh, of course. I can help you out. I got, um, I could have a job coming up, you know, if you want to get in on that. And get you get yourself some, some money. I don't, I don't know. Conditions. Let me check that. I'll let you know. What did I say? Don't worry. He is malnourished. That deputy I took, I made sure not to, uh, do anything too bad. Left eye milky white wearing a... <laughs> you, you need some fucking... F Listen, you look like you need something to fucking eat here. Yeah. Take this. Yeah, I have, have to have a bite to eat. And Alice, what the fuck happened with your eye? What's going on? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought up the eye. All right. Well, <clears throat> listen, I, I just want to help oh, you. I'll tell you. Yeah, tell me. It's fine. A fella it's murdered a guard in Sisica. Right next to my cell, I heard it happen. Stabbed the, that poor little guard about 50 times over and over and over and over and over. But they found out that where that knife came from. You need it, huh? Well, it came from Alice. Oh. And instead of just taking it out on Alice and sticking her in solitary, I made sure that every single day I knew exactly what they were doing to her. 
He went days without seeing the sun. Days being in the sun. And Booker made sure to tell me every single detail. And they also took it out on me. And these deputies, these deputies that put us there think that's going to be a, a way to reform us, Wallaby. I, I, I do have a certain way of doing things, yeah. I'll tell you though, I do feel real reformed. Like I told you, I've never been better.